Hey everyone, I'm, uh, I'm going to be doing some setup stuff here while we wait. More! <laughs> Do have more. I don't want to though. Uh, I, don't e I, don't even, I don't even know how. Hey, it's duplicate. Paste duplicate. Paste duplicate. Becoming too powerful. Paste duplicate. Enlarge. Okay. I'm gonna go back to what I was doing. Which involves reinstalling Mac SG. Once I figure out where the heck that is. Commentary guide. Google Doc. So you want to commentate. <laughs> Uh, good, good. Download OBS. This is a really good document. I shouldn't be laughing at it. Where is the Mac SG link? Elite commentary tips. Download Mac SG here. I'm doing it. Is downloaded. Show in folder. Setup. More info. Run anyway. Windows. I trust silly pears and Mac SG. Oh, do do do. Mac SG has been successfully installed. I wonder if all my autofills are wrecked now. I imagine they are. Find out in a little bit. Mac SG. Yep. They sure are. Alright, let's see who's live. Let's see if I can bring them up. We got problems IRL doing some 300 crowns in 30 days in Fall Guys, which is actually kind of a fun challenge. I like that. And we got Brute Varst playing GeoGuessr. We're gonna race him. I typed in GeoGuessr, not Brute Varst. 
Brute Varst generates all. I don't think it worked. I think I need to do other stuff. Oh, I needed to download Streamlink, I think. Oh, do do do. That's me. Do do do. Do do do. More. No. Get rid of these. Less. Completed. Finish. You know, I actually remember having to restart my PC after doing the whole Mac SG thing. I think that was actually part of the uh, thing they want you to do, too. I'm not going to do it. They can't make me. Um, how do I do this? Mac SG. Problems IRL. Brute worst. Generate all. <gasps> what do you want to be left though? It's working. Oh, Poggers. Mute these streams. I want to hear you. Now the question is, did it work in the overlay? <gasps> It did. All right, we did it. Good job, chat. Do you want to see the current race? <laughs> oh, Hyde Park Corner, huh? I know where that is. It's a super center. Oh, well, GeoGuessr is a cool game. I feel like I'd be bad at it, but I enjoy watching it. Captures are off. How do we fix that? because um, my actual windows aren't the best. We'll see. There we go. Problems IRL versus Brute Versed. Oh, looks like we were uh, south of India there. We're on a road. We're headed north. I don't know which way we're headed. Where's the sun? It's above us. Okay. <laughs> Does it give you the time of day when, like, you're looking at the map? Oh, passing on the left. Only 13 remain. They're all on the bus. I wouldn't trust a bus. That might be a, a tour bus from somewhere. Now there's chicken bus ahead of it. That looks better. Go to the Chickum bus. Yeah. Chickum bus. No. Rotate left. Root. Rotate right. Chickum bus. No. There's like a biker coming up on the left. Maybe not. 
He's gone. He's vanished. Oh, there they are. Your bike. Where are we? <laughs> That's the whole point of this game. All right, we got problems IRL rocking the messenger skin on uh, some fall guys, the push level deal. Remember when you could jump up on top of the side and just hang out there? I remember. I did it once, but then I fell off because I was like, whoa, I did it. Problems using the classic right side strat, trying to ignore all other fall guide guys guys yeah oh gotta jump oh good jump good jump, ah, jump again oh, good jump there's a lot of jumping now this is jump guys all right everyone funnel to the center and start start the grabbies careful of them grabbies do they have portal skins now i saw a portal robot oh santa elisa named after the famed uh rowboat they used to cross the mediterranean here's the center funnel start the grabbing oh yeah i see problems going for a grab there missed their opportunity though staying on the right side still doing a good job of jumping over all those beams and can we make it to the end there's the last jump he does it Amazing. 13 still remain after that stupid event. <laughs> I, I hated that event. It's like no one ever felt. It's worse than the match game. 13 entered. 13 stayed. Ah! Two, two died. I think I saw him dive at the end to troll, but they trolled themselves. All right, we got flat semi. It appears they're driving on the correct side of the road. And Problems has entered into the Golden Crown Challenge. Let's see what strat Problems incorporates. Looks like he's going for the stay high, stay powerful strat. Getting cut off a little bit here, but makes excellent jump to the center and stays up on the top platform as long as possible. Oh, they got little fun shapes on them now. That's fun, little chevrons and sprinkles. Oh, a group of five staying up top here, amazing. The sudden goose attack! Oh, look at this billboard. <laughs> the guy was relaxing over there. Oh, we're headed to Ukraine. Oh, you can like pick. I don't know how GeoGuessr works. I've watched a lot of it, but I, I really don't know how it works. I mean, I do know how it works, but not like mechanically. Problem still using the uh, run to break the blocks strat. Not switching to the jump. Oh, there's the switch into the jumps, cutting off that tomato. Oh, but the tomato dive. And now problems has been cut off. Now. They're down to the final layers being eaten away. Hugin's in their shop selling potions and problems goes down. Eliminated. Eliminated. All right, I've had enough of this. I hope you've enjoyed my Mac SG test stream. Appears to be working. You want to buy potions from Hugin?
the bonus track yeah the, i think the bonus track is um plays during the credits i think not entirely sure i mean that's another day i'll play some of that messenger music shout outs to problems irl <laughs> we need we need a season of grudge door is <laughs> what we need i did a race against flannel uh in heck what was that uh hard ship breaker hard space ship breaker and i i forget who comment someone commentated it and I, I went back and watched it, and it was actually like super interesting, <laughs> even though I knew it was ha yeah, Ekum did it, and I was like, yo, I would watch this. <laughs> and I briefly ventured into their Discord to see if anything like that was happening, and it looked like just like speedruns. Flannel freaking wiped the floor with me in that race, by the way. She had studied. I'd went in cold, winging it. Turns out that didn't work too well. You know what did happen though, with uh, this new Mac SG installation. All my shortcuts are messed up now. Oh no, they're not. Because <laughs> I installed it into the same location. I'm smart. Um, if you like my commentaries, though, <laughs> you should check out my new YouTube channel. I've been uploading past Condor commentaries slowly but surely. I have all my random ones up there. I think all of Season 8. I'm halfway through Season 9. I have all my cahoots. And then I have Season 10 and X2 coming in after that so here you go also uploaded a necker dancer highlight reel to that yesterday there's that one you need some necker dancer in your life i also posted it like everywhere i could so you probably saw that eh. 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 Um, it's 50 minutes to the race yet. And I have Scooty Biscuit versus Yuka. Um, I'll be racing later today at 5 o'clock my time. So in like 6 hours. But in between all that, uh, we might pick up some more commentaries. Or... Um, Curious Expedition 2 released today in full access, full release. Curious Expedition 2 version 1.0 is out now. And like, I really enjoyed the first one. I got to closed alpha test this one. And I'm curious to see what it's like with their full release. Seemed pretty fun. It's like Oregon Trail, but more brutal. That's a thing. And not on the Oregon Trail.
Um, I suppose we could do some of this stuff. Um, versus... Nope, that's not it. Spooty Biscuit first. Yuka. Bam. Bam. But we don't want that there. We want it up here. That looks centered. Transform. Center to screen. And now you use pixel by pixel. Sorry, I'm tired. Coffee is kind of kicking in. Transform if you hit the lock button. And now it stays there forever. Watching you play up until the three camp raid. That's when I went to bed. But it looked like you're having fun. <laughs> Five levels above you? Yeah. That'll do it. I guess you do have to do some of the side questing and stuff just to keep your levels up. Which is kind of gross. But there's good content in them side quests. playing I actually uh noticed that yeah one of the some of those side quests are actually kind of important for how it unlocks ways to interact with stuff that I guess isn't required but um it'll make your life a lot easier <laughs> 
it expands on the story and stuff too so they're not like really side quests i almost i don't know man they give you the main story quests right and then like this another tab of side quests and then this another tab of raid quests and another tab of all uh, their menus are kind of bad and you should still probably be doing the side quests because there is story tied to them that involves the main quest you unlock specific abilities from them that you can only get from them and it keeps your levels uh good to go Yeah, that's fair. I'll stop talking about it. <laughs> no spoilers. I'm gonna watch that AI video I sent you though, again. Not now, no, YouTube. Stop! Ow! Watch later. Thank you. Yeah, the, the vaults are the thing you want to do. Yep. Yep. They're actually pretty cool, too. Pretty cool. kind of figure there is a bit of spoilers when I looked into it too but it'll be interesting after you're done with the game it was kind of like um, the Senua's sacrifice post video where it talked about making the game and stuff it was super interesting Hellblade We'll play that again right before the second one releases, I think. I don't want to listen to this song. Sure. Get some FTL in here, we'll summon Crow. Um, after this race, um, we'll boot it up. Assuming there's no other races coming up right after it, which right now there's not. I don't think. Yeah, the next ones are two hours out, and uh, then it's my race. Where's JPEG? JPEG's gonna beat me. Where'd Mart? <laughs> JPED's info is where Mary Dor at? It's <laughs> good. Good stuff. I would lose at Mary Dor. Hey, Cates of Hyrule got that 1.5 update yesterday. So I. Plugged my switch back in and charged it. I actually kind of wanted to play that again. See what that's like. Hey, Orc, this is not Stardew. This is. Kongo! Which is Crypt of the Necker Dancer Online Racing. We'll be starting in five minutes. We might do Stardew later tonight. Maybe. I still feel like streaming after racing. I should turn on actual Necker Dancer music.
and um yeah i had fun racing yesterday um so i assume we'll continue streaming after the race today but we'll see i might be tired I haven't turned the switch on in like months. <laughs> Everything's getting updated. We might take another look at Canes of Hyrule uh, tomorrow. Canes of Hyrule is part of Condor. I'm glad, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> There's a side tournament going on with Canes of Hyrule and they're doing the puzzle dungeon racing. And I don't think I downloaded overlays for that, but they kind of look like this. Kind of. But I, uh, I think there's I don't think there's been one of those races scheduled yet. It's the side tournament, so there's not going to be too many of them. Yeah, oh, there's one today. Um, in eight and a half hours, Pleasant Breeze versus Was Killed By. Yeah, we're still trying to figure out how to um, race Cadence of Hyrule. Um, it was, it, the game had been broken for the last few months because of uh, um, the beat the beat maps didn't line up with the music so it was weird in one of the later stages and um, but now the the update supposedly fixed it so hopefully we can get some more looks at that um, no um, they will post in the announcements channel when that gets reviewed i felt like i won the third one but i i watched the race back and it looked like they got there before me but i distinctly remember finishing looking over uh and saw them still fighting necker dancer but they already had a dot done message and I, it might just be twitch delay and i screwed myself but i don't know But it looked like I won. Also, I played like garbage. <laughs> After watching that race back, I was like, wow, I played pretty bad in terms of like knowing my build and whatnot. All right, never mind. Mac SG doesn't work. Cool. All right, let's do this other thing then. I got the, uh, the Twitch message. All right, we'll switch over and fix it on the fly. On the fly. Spooty's offline. Yuka's online. I need a timer. Seed's been delivered. Take a look at these racers then. Spooty Biscuit with a record of six and zero coming into this race. Best win seven twenty, average eight twenty one. Yuko with a record of zero oh and three. Both these racers have been around for a hot second in the Condor community. Oh, I'd like to see 
a good race between them two. My name's Tic Tac Bo. I'll be your commentator for this matchup. And uh, we'll get going once Spooty's done waking up. <laughs> Um, like people have been posting in chat before this, there are a bunch more races scheduled today. And look at the link I just posted in chat. There's another one going on right now between Evtet and Spreka. And there's a bunch more scheduled throughout the day and the week. We will have showcase matches every Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern over on ELED Difficult's channel. Kind of highlight some of the, uh, uh, well, I guess to highlight the uh, event in general, there'll be a mix of Cadence races, Diamond races, and uh, Cadence of Hyrule races during that showcase, which is always fun. And yeah, how y'all doing? Happy Thursday? Thursday. It's almost Friday. We're on the downslope of the week. And stop pedaling on your bike. Just coast it. Feels good. Fill my water while we wait for Spooty. setting up. He's setting up. Ooh.
Uh, Condor. Yeah. Much waiting is had in Condor, but then you go fast. And it's good. But until then, it's wait. Hot dang, how long does it take to set up? <laughs> Sorry, I get impatient when stuff is light. I wish the commentators could talk in the race room. <laughs> Hi everyone. My name's Tic Tac Fo. We'll be commentating this race between Spooty Biscuit and Yuka. Like we're having some setup issues here. But we're ironing them out. It's the first week of Condor X2. This is where things everyone remembers to uh, <laughs> de-rust and blow the dust off of however they raced Necrodancer. I was talking about it with Civ Korea yesterday, how like everyone has their own jank setup. <laughs> to, to make it work so they can see their opponent and discord and you know all the information they need to see and yeah it looks like that's exactly what's happening here <laughs> what I can gather Division Spooty Biscuit versus Yuka ND. I'm Tic Tac Bo. Here we go. Got the 1 1 music playing for the 1 1 level. And we already have a divergent pathing between our racers. Spooty finds a war drum, which can give potential uh, damage boosts. We can open barrels with it. Takes forever, but you can do it. And we're both in the one two at relatively the same time. We see the exit Minotaur. We're looking around the rest of the level though for other things. Gonna find a bomb over on Spooty's side while Yuka is wrangling that Minotaur down and up. There's a locked shop as well. We might check that one out. There's usually good stuff in there. And Spooty's gonna wrangle that Minotaur to get that potion over on the start of the level. And inside the shop is some magic cheese, obsidian armor, and a strength torch. 
I wouldn't mind killing for that. Um, you have two bombs for it. That's, that'd be a decision, though. Yuka's gonna pass on all that. Head down to 1-3 with a red chest and a glass torch. Not as good as the uh, strength torch that Spooty just purchased. Plus one damage, and then there's that potion. Yuka gonna bomb trap this barrel open and find the crown of teleportation. And now we're gonna have to deal with this dragon and accompanying enemies. Spooty finally down to 1-3. There's a cracked wall here. Yuka's kind of getting swarmed up here a little bit. Might just take an exit down the door there. I was handling it. Okay. Looks like they might want to try to get that cracked wall open. Spooty's going to use that blood drum for the two hit on the red dragon. And we'll head down into the zone one. Oh, no, it's just saw that cracked wall. Going to alter course here. There's a transmute shop. Went for a shovel on Yuka's side, gets the battle shovel, and then went for a weapon, got the glass broadsword, and gonna finish it off with a headpiece in the uh, headphones for a total of six damage. So we're just gonna grab a shovel times two. Ends up with a glass shovel. Yuka might have won out on that transmute. And Kanga's your zone two boss. Yuka's gonna bomb to get into phase two. And should be able to swipe left there and destroy Kanga's hopes of remaining king. Spooty's gonna do uh, the blood drum hit. And Black Chest has an obsidian spear, which I imagine both racers will switch off to. Yuka would love some ballet shoes right now. Keep those headphones going and the obsidian. Both racers finding a fireball tome in 2-1 and headed towards the exit. Big armadillo, that's the real boss of this level. It's gonna survive for both of them. See, real boss. Shop check for Spooty. Gonna find some armor, some boots. Looks like they're gonna kill for this. <laughs> Using the teleport crown, all right. <laughs> Worked pretty well. And is gonna have that early advantage of armor. Here's a ring for Yuka. Gonna bomb for the Ring of War. Switched off to the circlet as well. Ring of War is okay. Additional damage and the knockback. And he'll be down to core with first. Should be a throw fireball kill here. Wait, what? Oh, the fireball didn't kill. Okay, gotcha. Three damage. Gets the flaws victory, though. Check and purple. Gets fireball spell to replace those tomes. Spooty's into that fight. Does not have a quick kill. Is going to have to do some shenanigans in the water here with the explorer boots, but we'll take out the tentacles to get into phase two. Well, it gets a hit in there for phase two. Yuka sees a green bat down to half a heart, though. Makes that bat extra scary. But blesses the seed. Spooty's gonna pick up that fireball spell. Tier three cracked wall there that um, Yuka could not get into. Could have been the food shop. No green bat spot for Spooty. Heckin' cursed. <laughs> There's a conjure for Spooty. Looking for a weapon. Gets Glass Cat. Gonna run with that. And we're seeing the exit here for Spooty. Gonna use some blood magic to take out that blue dragon. Works pretty well. Well, Yuka tries to get to the exit. There was that second tier three wall, so we're not gonna see the food shop over on Yuka's side. And there is a bit of variance now because Spooty killed their shopkeep where Yuka's is still alive. Easy death. Uh, nope, that's a deep loose fight for Yuka. Just a throw kill there. Spooty's going to have to do a little bit of dancing here with the chest pieces. But should be able to one-shot deep blues. There it is. And a shield spell in the purple chest, which Yuka's using right now to deal with that swarm on 4-1. Slowly making their way cutting through this level. 
Booty getting telemonkeyed back a little bit there. Oh, Yuka going down to a black bat. Did not have luck. And got dunked. There you'll have it. Spooty with the very big advantage. Imagine would like to switch off of uh, this class. Or just run it. Do that too. Yeah, careful them pixies with the cat. They explode. Here's a weapon swap, perhaps. Titanium cat. Wonderful. Still dishing out three damage with that torch. <laughs> Missed the fireball on death metal. It happens. Yuka's uh, going a little bit of an alternate route on their run back, seeing what else the seed has to provide, which is fair. When your opponent's this far ahead, that's kind of pretty much all you can do. Hope for your opponent to go down, which at uh, this division probably won't happen, but we've seen strange things occur during Dead Ringer and Necrodancer fights. One more level for Spooty here, and we'll see the first Dead Ringer of the match. Good uh, level read there for Spooty. Digging right to the exit. And here's Dead Ringer. So left side spawn. Looks like we're going to do Japanese strats. Oh, gets hit, though. Goodbye, shovel. Needing a fireball to clean up the rest of that fight. Only the bummer about losing that shovel is here is we don't get that early quick hit on Necrodancer. Normally we would. And there's the potion pop for the extended shield in phase two. One more hit, and Spooty's gonna get the first loot of the match. Just under nine minutes race time. 8.37 in game, GG. Here's a look at Yuka's death. That black bat there, careful. Yeah, black bats tend to just dunk you when they're next to you if you don't have uh, your luck going. And you could pay the price. Small break here before the next race. There are a bunch more races going on today. Schedules posted in chat there. Evtet for Spreka going on right now. Spreka's up one to zero over Evtet. And they'll be taking on Elrez after that. All right, here we go. Next seed being entered. And our racers are readying up. Countdown's on. Race number two of this match. Underway. Yuka's gonna grab that first trapdoor they see. Spoonie's gonna look around a little bit, finds a red bat cave. Those usually have pretty good chests in them. And Infernal Torch, and an extra bomb. I think that's worth a little extra look there. Yuka in the one is gonna get some value out of this upcoming bomb. 
Well, not really, I guess. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, they jumped on the bomb, too. Uh, they revealed a titanium shovel, which could have saved them that bomb. But they will try to defeat this blood shopkeeper, and they do get the blood drum and a pretty good torch. And then finally that shovel. Oh, Spooty saw it too and still used a bomb as well. But had that extra one from 1 1 to get a safe shop kill there. Pick up the same items as uh, Yuka. Also, that gold bow. See some gold kills. I like that pick. I would have done that too. You just gotta pick your targets. Set up the gold kills. Looks like Yuka took a hit. Oh yeah, Yuka bombed themselves. On to uh, Death Metal, your zone one boss. Gonna use the blood dagger throw for an easy win there, but down to half a heart. Checking black chest for the weapons. Blueberry whip. Pretty strong, but pretty awkward to use. We'll see how Yuka handles it. Pretty well on that first dragon on 2 1. Gonna pick up a potion along the way, and that's gonna be super helpful for their half heart remaining. Spooty finally making their way down to that death metal fight. Should be able to line up a uh, ghost for a gold kill or just blood drum. It looks like we're going ghost for the gold kill. Well done. You could try to get a leprechaun spawn there, but the mole ate their stack of gold. Hey, a piercing whip now. After this arena, there's that leprechaun. You're not gonna get away so easily from a whip. There's the leprechaun for Spooty. Spooty did not go for that blueberry whip. They went purple chest and found a free spell. Not bad. In two di <laughs> Spooty got a bull flanked there, took a hit. And Yuka on to deep blues, your zone two boss. Looks like they don't know the lane two whip strats for the quick kill, but does get a flawless victory. He's going to be switching off this whip to a blood bow. <laughs> I mean, eh. Two damage with uh, the glasses and healing. I'm going to stay on the whip. Spooty with a freeze kill on deep blues. Going to go purple chest again. It's a pulse spell. But there's a full heal for Yuka. And headed down into 3-2. Yeah, trapdoors with the whip are awkward. There goes that potion. Been dunked by the dragon. Let's try that again in the next trapdoor. This time with a Minotaur. This one's handled a bit better. Bring a piercing helping. And both racers with mapping will make short work of this zone three. Spooty checking the shop here. I'll probably pick up this uh, backpack and yeah, all the things. Earth Tome. Artisimal first for Yuka though. With a whip, this can be kind of weird too. Let's see how they handle it. They get him in the phase two, but takes a clap a hit. And then yeah, the uh, Fortissimal splash. Yeah, it's usually the uh, that first attack on, for on Fortissimal, you hit the uh, skeletal line when you're trying to attack. To small to get people in trouble. But does complete it. We'll continue on to zone four. Spooty's gonna use that bow to an effective flawless victory. We'll see what they choose this time. Going for the chest. It's a squagga suit. Alright. So rock this gold bow all the way to the end. Yuka at half a heart. Ooh, but a glass shop. We're gonna kill for this. Oops, all glass. Good swap. I like it. You're at half a heart. Everything is going to kill you if they hit you anyway. You get off that whip shenanigan. Now you're dishing out eight piercing damage. Spooty finally finding a weapon swap to a gold cat, so two damage piercing with that. Not bad, but a spider's gonna eat Spooty's potion, though. I'm gone on that one. 
but we'll exit 4-2 into 4-3 just as Yuka's completing 4-2 uh, here. Almost catching up. Bit of a swarm at the exit. Yeah, Spooty has that uh, spell advantage right now and using it really well to clear out a lot of these enemies and then the exit room. Ooh, careful! Yeah, that pixie is going to take a heart and a half off the of Spooty with that cat attack. But it does make it into a conga fight. Going to Earth Zuma. Get into zone 5. Has a quick kill for uh, Dead Ringer. With the freeze Earth Earth. And finds a food shop so it can get a quick heal in while Yuka takes on King Konga. Lost their glass armor, so one hit will kill them. As long as they remain on that glass jaw. Into zone 5 we go. Excellent freeze by Spooty there. And digging straight to the exit. Gonna get caught up a little bit here. Takes a hit, but has enough health and armor. And cooker reserves to deal with it. Whole level ahead of Yuka now. And takes a, a quick shortcut through one monster room, one monster closet. And into Dead Ringer. Yuka went down at the 5 2 exit. The left side spawn again. Here's your freeze. Earth, earth. And Spooty's gonna wrap up this one with another Necker Dancer fight and another loot collected. In that first hit in this time with the Blood Shovel. And one more lure here and Spooty's gonna have it. Sub eight this time around, 7.42 uh, race time, 7.32 in game. GG's. Pretty fun run that one. Didn't really get a weapon until zone four. <laughs> And Yuka was managing their health all the way until zone 5 when it finally depleted. We'll get one more race out of these two though. Matches are always a, a race of three. Each victory is a point awarded to that racer for their total Condor X2 score which is how the next uh, matchups are created. And we'll get this next one going here in a little bit. Countdown is on. Early cracked wall on 1-1. One, one. Is it the blood shop? Sure is. It's okay. Uh, torch and uh, gold rapier is what we're going for. Yuko, unfortunately, did not get the good RNG. Or Spooty did. Those um, shopkeeper teleports are not seated. But Yuka does get it on the second try. We'll see the Blood Drum, Gold Rapier, and Torch pick up from both racers, and we'll move along into the next level. <laughs> Yuka take another bat hit there? <laughs> Yuka's having four bat RNG today. Good bomb here from Spooty. Opens up that mouse trap and gets the dragon. And there's your leprechaun. I'm gonna swap to the titanium broadsword. 
And a good blood drum kill for Yuka on that red dragon. We're both into 1 3. Holy water in this chest. Uh, Yuka, I was gonna say Yuka might use it to heal up here. Looks like they're trying to decide if that's what they want to do. And we'll finally get there. Okay, that took a lot of a lot of dancing back and forth. It's gonna allow Spooty to get into a trap door. For your zone one mosh pit, and this is deep blues. Let's see if uh, Spooty does a blood drum kill here. Setting up for it anyway. There you go, checkmate. Yuka's in. Yuka could go up the middle, I think. Yeah, going up the middle here would work. Ah, uh, maybe not. The lunge would hit before the gold kill. They're just gonna bomb. And Spooty check purple got a fireball spell. We'll see if Yuka does the same. No, they went black and found the red harp. Blood harp. Won't be taking that staying on the rapier. And a conjure, 2-1 for Spooty, gonna look for a ring. It's the ring of might, and then a pickaxe. Gonna leave that there, doesn't want it. That ring of might would be really good with Yuka's build. Oh, didn't get it though. Didn't even check for a ring, just went with the pickaxe and left. That'll allow them to get this potion. Spooty got in there with the armadillo, I think. And uh, last shop check here on 2-3. Gonna get a heal for Spooty. Uh, we'll see if Yuka checks it. Yeah, it looks like Yuka's gonna go for that heal as well. There's that Squega suit again for Spooty on 2-3 to the left there. Looks like Yuka's gonna skip that and try to find their way to the exit. Takes a big hit there from a black mage. Down to half a heart. Trying to get to that peace shrine. Oh, just gonna blow it up. I suppose we got a uh, potion. So it gets the ring of peace. Spooty finds a trap door down into the death metal fight. Blood drum kill here again. No, oh, pain boots, I see, have been acquired. I'll deal with it well. Yuka's in it there, and there's a weapon for Spooty, that Obsidian Rapier. Looks like Yuka using the Blood Kill there, going to get the Obsidian Rapier as well. Magic Cheese for Spooty, gonna heal them up back to almost full health. Yuka should be able to find that as well. Crown of Thorns in addition. Oh, Yuka's just gonna pass on by. Yeah, opening the wrong barrel. Crown of Thorns is a good pickup though. Looks like we're going the wrong way on 3-2. Oh, it's a magic drumstick for Yuka though, so magic food for everybody. Yeah, Yuka is very lost here. Full clearing, Scooty almost full cleared it. Into uh, the 3-3 exit room though, there's a bat here in a cracked wall. It's in this cracked wall. It's a transmute. Different shovel. There's first try. Shovel of courage. Different ring. Different ring. Uh, one more try. Ring of gold. <laughs> okay. Not getting what we wanted there. Gave the old uh, transmute try though. Spooty's still in control of this race though. Yuka's expending some health here. Down to just two hearts, and we'll see. They get the shovel. They're going for a torch here. Did not get any particularly good torch out of that. I guess you're looking for the damage torch. I don't. I don't really know. I'm gonna use an Azuma bomb strat there for Kanga three. Head on down into zone four. Spooty's down to four two. Skipping my heal spell along the way. We don't need that. We got a Spega suit. That's my heal spell. It's protecting me before I get hurt. Also, all this food along the way.
Pika makes it down into 4 2. There's a Telemonkey for Spooty. Popping that shield spell beforehand. Oh, a little late on that one. Got hit by the Harpy, but a good setup there on the exit. And Yuka goes down. So once again, Spooty pushing their opponent to a demise. And we'll have a relatively simple victory here as they head into zone five for the last time. Crown of Thorns will keep Spooty alive. Keep that potion protected. One more level here, and we'll be in Dead Ringer again. Will it be three left side spawns for Spooty? We get that right side spawn. Oh, getting frozen. Oh, getting frozen. Big fireballs. Here's Dead Ringer. It is a left side spawn. We're gonna get some blood uh, drum kills here. We're line up anyway for phase two. Here you go, potions popped. Into the Necker Dancer fight. Yuka wrangling a dragon over to that one two shop to get a bunch of free ish items. And Spooty's in the phase two of the Necker Dancer. Half health's already gone. Another bat hit on Yuka there on the deep blues mosh pit. Bad bat RNG today. One more hit for Spooty. There it is. Gonna sweep this set. The final time of 8.06. GG's. Uh, what? There we go. That's it for that race. We'll see if another one gets scheduled here. An update on the other race. Spreka defeating Evtet 3 to 0 as well. GG's over there. There are a bunch more races yet today. Check the schedule real quick. Parker PNGs versus Civ Korea right now. Um. All right. So I race in five hours. So in between now and later, we're gonna play some. Curious Expedition 2, which just released today in 1.0, out of early access. Give me a few moments to set that up. We'll get it going. Unless someone challenges Spooty right now, I will commentate that. We'll give him a few minutes. Yeah, I'll be racing JPED. In chat there, I see you. <laughs> Practice for Condor? Who does that? Who's practicing for Condor? Aren't you commentating that, Salo? Is that what I saw? Thought I saw your name around there somewhere. Yeah, Salo's gonna be commentating it. Yeah, you have school? Yeah, well, that's more important. That's for true. Looks like Monster Racers passively challenging Spooty, <laughs> but no one's doing it yet. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> I 
<laughs> There's no official challenge yet. It's just a bunch of, uh... <laughs> bunch of, uh, waving feathers and... Noses up in the air. <laughs> I don't know. How to interpret Discord messages. Yeah, I saw a monster on top of that leaderboard there for Dot Fastest. Or Kupiola. Should I egg them on? <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. Even though I just did. In my stream. They're not watching my stream. Give them one more song, and then I'm gonna move on, do something else. All right, music's up. I was reading other things. All right, yeah, let's set up for some uh, Curious Expedition.
cut that Necker Dancer music. I'm already tired of it. Get out of here. We live in the quiet. And be thankful. Uh, Curious Expedition 2, huh? Where is this game? Here we are. Play. Play game. Hey, Joe, you sure did. But you didn't miss Tortoise Riding Explorers. Version 1.0 is out now. Hooray. Newsletter, Discord, Wacky, Settings. Quick game. Continue. Oh, I, I can continue my, my beta? Sh no, I don't want to do that. New game. Sure. I was returning from a routine expedition to Peru when we spotted a great storm brewing on the horizon. Heck. Okay. Crew prepared to divert around it, but I glimpsed something inside land! An island in the middle of the Atlantic, where none should be. With the protests of the captain, I gave orders to the head of the island to head to the island. I don't think you can give orders to the captain. Trembling but compliant, the crew steered us into the heart of the storm. It seems like a poor decision. Ah! Tempest raged with an unnatural fury. A strange fog enveloped us and lightning crackled all around. The vessel was almost torn asunder by the crashing waves. It just when death seemed certain, we emerged from the maelstorm into an almost perfect calm. The captain's like, dude, you broke my ship. I am annoyed. Hector is fell overboard. Juggling his less tropical I'm in the storm safely behind us. We prepare to lay anchor and see the wonders of the new land. Let's do this. Curious Expedition 2 tutorial. I know this route well. This island wasn't here before. Travel. Confirm. Con confirm. So the way this game works for anyone unfamiliar, yeah, is you move across the map, discover locations, but as you move, it costs sanity for each movement. Um, it's less sanity to cross through like grasslands. It'll cost more to cut through woods or other obstacles. And you're managing that sanity because once it gets to zero, bad things start to happen. And you can increase your sanity by resting or eating fruit or stuff like that. Unknown location file. Move within two tiles to reveal it. Something over there. Follow me. We're taking a look. Found a shipwreck. Explore it. Badum. Came across an astounding discovery, the wreck of what looked like an old British naval ship. I couldn't help but wonder how it had come to rest here. I don't like the look of this. That cigar, though. Crocodile boots. With every step we took on the strange island, we seemed to encounter another mystery. Search the ship. Carefully testing the round planks before entering, we made it through the inspection of the ship. After a time, we found several items of value. Dynamite! So now we manage our inventory. Uh, take everything. Clothes. What else do we have? Med kit. Chocolate. A dead end. Use dynamite. Yeah, so there's ways you can get around obstacles by blowing up mountain ranges. Nothing will stand in our way. Then we'll continue on through. An encounter, a small group of indigenous people hurried to our location, seemingly drawn by the sound of our dynamite. Yeah, that makes sense. They seemed as shocked to see us as I was to see them, yet once the initial wonder wore off, they demanded to know who we were and how we got there. Uh, I'll tell the truth. 
Using gestures and a friendly manner, I managed to calm the natives and show that we were but simple travelers. They welcomed us with friendly smiles. Standing plus two. Yeah, so each island has their own indigenous inhabitants, and um, you're also managing um, your reputation with them. Max is 10. Uh, least amount is negative 10. When it gets negative, they get hostile. The more good reputation you have... Um, more things you can gather from them like information or resources so they showed us where where their village was so we're going to travel there um so there's hills here hills are good because they cost a lot to climb unless you have climbing gear but if you travel to a top of a hill you get a lot of uh, vision across the land then you normally would you see that big bloom there before this popped up. So now I have low sanity. We're at 29. 29 is fine. We can check. It only costs us 12 to get there, so I'm not going to eat any of our chocolate to refill that. I'm just going to head to the village and approach. Cows. Approached with caution, but they welcomed us with open arms. It seemed where it had traveled, where before our arrival we could come as friends. Interestingly, they did not seem as shocked by our strange appearance as I would have expected. One would almost suspect that we were not their first foreign traders. Um, so I don't have enough stand. Oh, it's locked. Never mind. We are tutorial still. Woman from the village carried a heavy bag revealing village trade goods. Barter. Offer extra items the game standing. Yeah, so you can gift items to gain standing. Got plus one there. Um, and at plus th at three standing, we you can meet with their ruler. Thrown to the hut where a ruling council held the hearings. An elder stepped forward and greeted us. We were allowed one request. We would like to recruit. You get a shaman or a scout. So uh, the different classes of characters have different things for them like for the shaman for instance if we eat mushrooms we gain plus 10 sanity and then they have different dice rolls for combat this one looks like heals and then a debuff for the scout we get view distance plus 15 percent and then they have um different dice attacks as well um we'll go with the shaman why not? Did I truly want to recruit the shaman? Yep. Pomojev, the native shaman, joined our trek, and they do not speak English. I crossed granted, I bowed to the council and left in business. Rest to regain sanity. And then resting in your village will negatively affect your standing with the villagers. And sometimes events can happen. That evening, the villagers were planning a ritual dance that seemed to serve as an appeasement to the gods. They called these deities the Palakau. Strange words sounding foreign in their tongues. Apparently, these gods were builders of great magic artifacts. I was invited to join the dance to honor the great builders. I considered carefully refusing my defend them, but a false step would be an even greater insult. So we're going to accept, and now we have to pass a dice challenge or a dice roll. We need a green um, die to roll um to pass so roll the dice we got it success i wonder if this is uh just meant for your success we get plus two standing because it was a success best dancer it's standing still very good uh Okay, so you can go manage your trek too. Select Victoria. And then we can equip weapons and equipment. Different weapons and equipment do different things for you. Um, weapons will give you attack rolls, additional dice for attack rolls. Um, armor can do other things like defense and what have you. Uh, now we sleep. Sleeping regains your sanity. I think you rest for three or five days five days yeah you can stop resting if you want to 
Rest in the village for a few days to recover. The natives continue to treat me kindly. You may now do as you wish. You might rest again to recover some sanity. So we could do that. That would eliminate all of our standing with the tribe, but we could also trade once again, right? To regain the standing or trade for stuff they got. So they got like a shield, uh, more chocolate. This is the chocolate I gave them earlier, I think. Hard cheese. Delicious. Are these discounted? Is that what that means? Here's those mushrooms I was talking about earlier. Uh, mushrooms have different effects. Some, this one will, uh, um, so it'll cure a mental affliction, which is something that can happen to our trek. This one, uh, um, increases our carrying capacity. And then with my shaman, it'll also give us plus 10 sanity if I wanted that. Animal tooth, teeth are for trading. Um, a lot of these trinkets and foods are for trading. Another spear. I think we're all right. Let's rest another another five days though. Avni approached one of the natives in an attempt to learn the language. Once she understood what I wanted, she was delighted to teach me. I've always found that the locals of any place are delighted to share the culture with strangers. One must simply take the effort of reaching out. Though there wasn't time to make such progress during a short stay, it was beginning, and I believe lessons, blah, 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 blah. Thank you. Sleep. Hey, Xanagir. This is Curious Expedition. Ooh. It does have some similarities between Darkest Dungeon in the ways that you manage your, your party and what can happen to them. Picked up and parted. All right, so now we can... uh. Continue on our trek. You can see we have our shaman. Shaman. Who's now part of our group. Uh, they're a local, so that means that um, at the end of this mission, they'll stay here. They won't stay with our group. Um, we might have the option to keep them there. Keep them here, though. So we're going to want to explore the top area here. So we're going to take the longest trek we can to get there. Hopefully find um, something of use. The longer your trek less sanity it would use than by like stopping here and then stopping here and then stopping here so the longer you can make your trek the better um you always won't have that option though because there will be enemies or obstacles chasing you but since this is tutorial map it's pretty straightforward looks like we did go through some woods there oh question marks we'll want to investigate that so that's another thing there too, since um, I did that whole travel. I could stop halfway through and check that, but yeah. As we ventured deeper into the wilds, Pomojev stopped short and pulled me aside. It seemed that we were nearing a site of some interest in old remains of what was described as the Pale Travelers. This certainly sounded worth investigating. Show location. Okay, so that's another point of interest. We're going to check this one out first though. Costs 18 sanity to get there. Standing plus... Two, I don't know why. I missed that. Oh, it was experience. Okay. So I found a shaman hut. We can visit them. Shaman huts, uh, you can, it's another trade specific scenario. Um, you usually get better trades, the better. <laughs> you got bugs around your face, my guy. <laughs> uh, the better uh, you're standing. Go away. Visit old camp. Well, tutorial's taking me over. But they usually have a lot of mushrooms, and then they do have some uh, special stuff like moonstones, which are important later when we're not in tutorial. All right, so we'll visit this camp then. Have just enough sanity to get there. We'll check it out. We're negative one sanity now with that movement. Wow! We approached the abandoned cat, hoping to find supplies and possibly answers. Unfortunately, a group of scavenging hyenas was already there and attacked on sight. Let's get those beasties. Combat. So you roll your dice. Each character has their own dice that you're rolling. You can see their character portraits attached to each of those. I wonder if this tutorial is just telling me what to do. But um, we got our spear, which we equipped earlier. 
And then um, that'll do damage seven. So we'll just target the first enemy here. Gotcha. Got him. And then our other character here has a crackling wallop. Cracking wallop. <laughs> so we're just going to punch this hyena. Does eight damage, 25% chance to stun for one turn. Spow! Looks like we did not stun them. Um, this is a heal. But none of us are hurt, so we're going to just re-roll it. Uh, blank dice are added automatically, and then we can add the dice that we choose to re-roll. Confirm the re-roll. And select the inspire dice. So blue is... There's ways you can use these dice. Uh, some of them have buffs. Some of them are debuffs. Some of them will combo with other patterns to do, like, additional damage and what have you. But, um... So this is a buff. Strength plus 100. Give it to our guy here, because we can see that he has an attack. A weak punch. You're not that weak! Give him a strong punch. Um, so 10. 5 plus 5. Beat the hyena. Quick left jab to the noggin. Get it done, and now our opponents get a turn. Um, so we can hover over your opponents to see what they're gonna attack with. It's uh, just a 12 damage basic attack there. And then you can flee if you want to. Fleeing will often lose resources as you flee. Sometimes your enemies get a free turn too, so you can get hit, what have you. Am I? I get to choose now. Okay, so we're gonna get the spear. Um, no. Does this, uh... Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna shout at it first with our shaman. Heck you, heckin' hyena. Get a weakness. So that's a debuff for one turn. So minus two damage. And then we will... Cracking wallop. Spow. Didn't stun it. Weak punch to foul the wallop. Ow. A heroic haymaker. Left uppercut and then finish with the spear thrust. Yeah, I hear hyena. Then you get your rewards. So hyena pelt, some meat and teeth. So once again, teeth are for trading, essentially. Um, meat you can trade with as well, but you can also cook it if you have a cook or a chef in your... Uh, in your group and regain some sandy or you can eat it raw for less sandy and then hyena pelts you can trade or keep with you throughout the run to uh use at the end of uh the mission we took what we could cautiously approach the old campsite perhaps there are valuables that the hyenas hadn't destroyed and a character is ready to promote so after that experience gain we can promote somebody select the big game hunter promote so um, each character has their own experience bar, I believe. And uh, as we gain experience, they can promote. So we'll get more health. We'll get a tally ho and crack and wallop boost. Yeah, here's their experience, experience bar. This character is now stronger. Practical experience pays off. I guess they're the only one that they gave experience to. Okay. Character is now stronger. All right, search the camp. I were to search the area, feeling a dread prickling in the back of my neck. I hope my trek would avoid the fate of these sorry explorers. So we found some stuff, found some whiskey, silver vase, and an old diary. Among the camp stores, I found a tattered field journal and notes of the unknown adventurer. Reading the account, it seemed to have he had fallen prey to the arrogance of many explorers and met his death after rejecting warnings from the natives. Tail buckle. I did come across one intriguing passage. Enormous structure, architecture unknown, technology far beyond our own, let alone these island savages. Wow. What purpose could it hold? He went on to give detailed directions to the strange structure. Fascinating. I simply had to visit. So essentially every map, um, unless you're doing a specific mission, they will have a specific structure we're looking for. And um, it's usually a golden pyramid. Uh, I think that they did change that in Curious Expedition 2. It's not always a golden pyramid. It could be something else. But our sanity is at 4. So you can see now if we move specific direct uh, lengths, um, 
we have 20% chance of something bad happening, 40%, 60, and so on. Um, and that could be like someone tripped and fell, broke an arm, and now we got to deal with that. Um, so we want to avoid that at all costs. And there's different ways of doing that. Like before, we could rest. Um, you can rest just by um, waiting here. You gain very, sh very small amounts of sanity. Actually, I think you lose sanity. Yeah, five sanity. Um, there's specific places you need to rest, like in Oasis or um, the village or what have you. But we also have items that regain it. So we have whiskey, which is plus 20, chocolate, which is plus 10. Um, whiskey also has a chance to make someone an alcoholic, which means they need more alcohol. Otherwise, they start getting angry. So we'll eat the chocolate. Let's see our sanity gaining back here. Get up to 64, and we will, well, shoot. <laughs> I just noted in, a, in Oasis there, I only needed to get it up to 12 because... Um, like I was just mentioning, you can rest at Oasis's Oasis size. I don't know. Characters promotable. Yeah, you get you gain um, experience by exploring more areas. So we can promote our character here. And uh, they gain more HP. They gain more loyalty. And then um, looks like their other stuff got a boost too. Their heals are better. And good stuff. All right. GG. So now we can check out this waterfall. Am I not close enough to it? I'm not close enough to it. And here's a good resting spot. So we can rest. For a camp for extended rest, this was a good place, and I was sure I would get some well deserved rest. There, Jing, my comrades, I told a small antidote of my travels that evening. You've been in stickier situations than this, I bet. Oh. Nice toke. Told them of an incident from my travels in Egypt where a linguistic misunderstanding had had led me to propose marriage to a local guide. Okay. You let me down gently enough, but it was a lesson to always care when navigating local culture. Okay. Ha ha ha. Funny story. I can see we're gaining our sanity back by a lot there, which is nice. Three days of rest, we still enjoyed the uh, melodic tone of the falling water. The natural beauty here was uh, breathtaking to behold. All right, so that'll give us enough uh, sanity to head up towards this question mark. We're going to stay on the grasslands as it costs additional sanity to go through woods. And we might get a look at this question mark here. No, it doesn't look like that. Explore the ancient structure. Okay. Whoa! What the heck? The haunting shape of the structure was like nothing I'd seen in all my travels. The purpose was unknowable, but it seemed that it might have some kind of great, might be some kind of great ancient machine. As we approached, the Mojev began to tremble, panic on her face. She frantically warned us that their uh, Palakau gods would not tolerate intrusion into the sacred place. So we can bribe her by giving her some of our inventory, or we can attempt to calm her by rolling a blue die. So we're gonna attempt that. Roll the dice. We got two of them. We'll flex on them. <laughs> it was not easy, but I managed to convince Pomojev that our own powers were a match for these mythical Palakau Though she remained nervous, she would stay with us. Approach the altar. Approach the controls of the machine. A strange dread filled me as I drew closer, but the idea of turning back now was unthinkable. <laughs> ah! As I lay my hand on the central crystal, a great creaking and clanking filled the air. The surface grew hot to the touch, and a ghastly purple fog began to pour forth. What on earth? Ah! I fled the place. The billowing fog chasing me back to my ship. I still ached with curiosity. One must survive if one is to make great discoveries. Yep, so now we need to escape to our ship. We have to get back to the ship. Yeah, so this is one of the perils. You get this uh, purple fog. I think it just, like, highly reduces your sanity. Um, I wonder if I can just... Okay. We'll go to here. Run! And it'll creep. As we go. The fog still chasing us. Hack 
Fuckers. Run. It is enveloping the world. Oh, it's gonna hit us here, maybe. So I could like stop and adjust my travel. Oh yeah, that's right, we made a path through here. It's fine. Uh-oh, it's gonna envelop. Oh, there's spooters! Oh, and they got our ship. Surprise attack! Jeez, that is a big spider. Owie. Oh, so, so what happened there, since I didn't stop and kept going, the spider got the initiative, so I got the first attack. If I would have stopped there before that, I can get the initiative. Yep, we're doing the thing, Papani. We're going through the tutorial right now. Remote characters can boost in combat. Okay. Select crackling wallop. Select a die with yeah. So here's here's where you can put combos. So since we rolled two red dice, this promoted character, I can add another red die to increase the chance of stun and damage. Spow! Punch that spider. Finish the combat and don't forget to use your boosts. All right. All right. So I got a heal and a right of unity. That do. Heal all allies for four. Okay. Sure. And then uh, this is another heal, but can also boost. I decided not to boost. Gotcha! This game in Australia? Yeah, this spider's very large. Alright, so let's heal you. And then, uh, got no more dice, so I'm the end of my turn. Spider attacks again. Looks like it has a... Wow, three attacks. God dang. Oh, it tells you the next action. In, in Curious Expedition 1, the enemy would have a dice roll, too. Looks like these are just telling you what's going to happen next. It's interesting. Oh, you're stunned. Oh, no. So that means this dice is unavailable to me. All right, so we got a boost again. 20 plus 40, well, 20 will kill it. Punch it. Bow. Creature's dead, the path to the ship clear. I sprinted madly for it. The breath burning in my lungs. I did? Okay. Um, yeah, so now we have injured people. Um, wonder. Yeah, so you see injured. Injuries heal slowly over time but can become infected. So if they're infected, uh, that means there's a chance the person will die and you need to use a med, a med kit to get rid of that. Otherwise we're fine. Um, for the interest of sanity, let's just run and get 100% something. Just for funsies. Or this is gonna happen. Insanity event. I'm assuming this is telling us what insanity is. Stumbling through the fog, I lost sight of Mojev momentarily. I would never see her again. So this is something. This is a chance thing that could happen when your sanity gets low. We we lose a member. Seemed our arrival on the strange island spelled only ill luck for the locals. And then after you experience that sanity event, you get a little bit back. So it's not always direct. We're going through this purple fog, which is additional. Uh, Sanity lost because we can't see where we're going, right? I spent hours wandering through in a fog in the days. Felt something shift around me and I was somewhere else. Oh, did this tell? Yeah, so that teleported me somewhere else. Okay, cool. Into the ship! Alright, we made it. Let's sail. Dark fog had almost overtaken the ship as we scrambled aboard, the captain hurrying to set her in motion. As we sailed away, we watched as they rapidly swallowed the island behind us. I did not know what would have happened if we had stayed, but I did not want to find out. After a time, the fog itself dissipated, leaving empty ocean behind where the island once was. What new strangeness was this? Escape! To the hub world, which is Paris. Arrived in Paris with a heavy sigh. During the past weeks, I had thought of nothing but the mysterious great machine. Yeah, that was a tutorial mission. This is all still tutorial. Uh, I ached for return, uh, but needed to resume my role as director of the expedition at Universal uh, University. Uh, <laughs> I had someone else to uncover the island's secrets. Oh, that's me! 
I pondered the challenges ahead, the difficulty of this new explorer in space. Adventure lunatic. Yeah, so you can choose your difficulties. We'll go with right in the middle. Death consequences. Restart it. Okay. Proper challenge for hardy adventures. An easy experience for those who prefer fun over frustration. Danger lurks behind every corner and death is everywhere. Enter at your own risk. Now, there are always more explorers after death. Restart the current year with a new party. Wipe year, restart expedition, wipe campaign. Yeah, we can just do wipe year. So different difficulty settings. Yeah, there, there's a bit of that in this Rodian. Yep. <laughs> oh, kitty. Gathering together the most accomplished explorers in Paris, I look closely at each who would become my right hand. So now I can pick my explorer. Um, will I do the big game hunter or the anthropologist? Like I was saying before, they have uh, different attributes to them. The big game hunter is a rugged trophy hunter, expert in putting down dangerous beasts and other threats in the wild. Looks like they come with a medic and a dog. Jasper, the hunting dog. Um, free ambush when attack. Nice. And you start with a hunting knife. These dice rolls. And the medic. A lot of heals. And uh, purge any character of some debuffs, looks like. Not bad. Or we could choose the anthropologist. Who has a spear, but they're not very good at fighting. They'll come with a native shaman. Who, uh, yeah, is your healer, debuffer. Their hothead, though, has a hard time saying no to a fight. Okay. <laughs> and then also a translator. So we have a better rest sanity per night. Plus one, which isn't that much, but they're sexist. <laughs> which is awkward, because it looks like we're with... Uh, no, you're male. A female, at least. We're going to go with uh, the big game hunter. Um, let me select the other character, please. You are also a sexist. And a good boy. Oh, we can regenerate? Oh, could I do... Oh, okay, so it switches things up. You're still an anthropologist and big game hunter, but... I wonder if... Yeah, still sexist, okay. Regenerate. <laughs> nice. Looks like uh, none of their attributes are changing, it's just their visual. Alright, start. Oh, Paris, France. So this is the hub world. Um, I think they have incorporated online stuff to this. I don't know if I'll get introduced to that now. It looked uh, on the ground on my lips. Well, it chose me to uncover the secrets of the islands. I vowed not to let her down. My heart pounded with anticipation, pain, 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 and hire some assistance. So we go to the pub. I entered the fame. Yep, can't pronounce that. The Broken Compass. And surveyed my surroundings. We're now as a meeting place for would-be explorers. It was likely a place to find eager adventurers to join my trek. So I can recruit people. I gave word that I was looking for reliable companions to join on my expedition. Soon I had gathered a small set of candidates to choose from. So we got a sailor. You get a free naval flare each map. Naval flares help you reveal the map. Uh, they are also sexist. And they have the come and get it and the, the f*** you <laughs> uh, taunt, it seems. Uh, there's a missionary. Uh, you gain max sanity with them and free resting at missions. Missions are another rest point that you can randomly get. Um, they tend to swing between extreme feelings of loyalty and disloyalty. Oh, boy. Or the British shoulder. Um, they are usually just for fighting. Combat buff, marksman, 50% increased damage when using guns. So if I found a gun, I would give it to them. Their hothead has a hard time saying no to a fight. Uh, sure. Go with Corporal Isaac. I truly want to recruit them. Yeah. Saluted me crisply. It would be a good to have such a disciplined soldier on the team. All right. <laughs> But then they constantly find their faith, right? I merge again into the bustle of the exposition grounds. I found myself immersed in the sights and sounds. Blah, blah, blah. 
Select expedition. So then you get to pick your mission. Um, so this one, trials and triangulations, they have, you get a different budget for each mission and then the, the, the difficulty rating and then your rewards. You use these rewards in roguelike fashion to unlock better stuff for your next missions and so on and so forth. Um, and then these different missions will have different requirements. So like trials and triangulations, I believe you have to find like three points on the map. Um, and a map in stone. You can see the ratings harder. We get a better budget. We also get a better reward. Circles of standing stones are rumored to lead the way to a mysterious lost treasure. So it looks like we're, we'll do that one. And then you select your sponsor. Who's going to pay for this? There's a few different explorer clubs. The Royal Avalon Society was a British organization created to learn about the wide, undiscovered world. It was a venerable, prestigious club with a strict code of honor. There's the Lux Labs, on the other hand, was a relative newcomer, an American corporation founded by Thomas Edison. They used expeditions to field test uh, experimental technology. Um, so you can level up your loyalty to these different um, groups, sponsors, and they have different rewards. Like the Lux Labs has a lot of like weird technology stuff. Um, finally came to the, from the Far East. Rumor was they invested dark supernatural influences of the world, assuming one believes in that sort of thing. So like weird like buffs or debuffs or what have you. Sport clubs. We're gonna, well, now they're going to explain what I just talked about. Cool. Uh, yeah, you can rank up. And then there's an online component to the game. We'll eventually get into where you like, you declare you're for one of these people. And then there's like, online competitions that they'll run at least they were in the beta let's go with lux labs we expect results it's my last night in paris and i decided to celebrate over drinks as i sipped my drink that evening i was approached by isabella bird known for her journeys into the rough american frontier starstruck i chatted with the celebrity about the inconsequential things for a while before she introduced the topic of the disappearing islands i smiled and deflected pretending i knew nothing bird pressed harder but i would not reveal milan's secrets to a complete stranger eventually she grew impatient in my face in the face of my evasions and bid me good night starting off with air of irritation centric lady if i say so myself um so with some of the missions you'll be racing other um, explorers. That was an example of one for the goal. Cold Coastal Island meeting up with my supply vessel. I was grateful for Lux Labs for providing us with the funds. Shopkeeper hailed me loudly and handed over a small package, a gift for my first solo expedition. I was sure it would prove useful. First aid kit, torch, chocolate. And then I can buy equipment, which I think I'll need for the rest of the run. I can also sell stuff that I have. Uh, we will buy one med kit, two med kits. Um, climbing gear will help us get over hills without, yeah, plat plateau climb cost is reduced. Um, it's also discounted, so we might just get all four of them. And then um, it can also bypass some dice rolls if we decide to use climbing gloves instead. I'm in gear. Playing too much Splunky too. Um, I believe you you should use your entire budget. In the first game, there was reasons not to, I think. I forget. But yeah, we're gonna get some chocolate and whiskey. Maybe just chocolate. I lied. Chocolate and whiskey. Um, I would like another whiskey chocolate. Okay, there you go. So I have 10 chocolate. We can always trade the whiskey. The whiskey actually trades pretty well. My customer chosen, I considered if there was anything yet more to be done before I landed on the island. Uh, there is. I would like to equip some people. Oh, I have a torch too. Oh, they're already equipped with their hunting knife. These guys don't have anything. Yeah. 
I'll begin. The legends told of a great treasure among these islands, but there was only one problem. No one knew where it was located. Fortunately, Lux Labs had found a clue. An island where natives told of ancient circles of stone. They were rumored to lead to treasure. So I need to find a stone circle. Alright, so here you go. Randomly generated map. Do the thing. Gimbal. The gimbal spins faster as you get closer to the goal location. So this guy down here, um, yeah, will spin faster. In the first game, it was a compass that would point you in the direction you needed to go. Hey, Flannel. Good luck to brother. Oops, I clicked the wrong button. Um, yeah, so the ship's also a resting point. Head on in. Make haste. Looks like we have some natives here. Um, let's go make contact with them, I guess. Approach the natives. Experience plus two. We encounter a small hunting party in the wild. They approach cautiously, spears at ready, radi radiating suspicion. Cool armor. I felt pinned by their stares. Perhaps they had never seen a Westerner before. The leader demanded to know what our intentions were. Uh, so I could beg to go in peace, offer to help a hunt, which I have a pretty good chance of winning that dice roll. Or intimidate the hunters. We'll offer to help. Ooh, doggo got it. We've come for your stuff. No. They welcomed me into their hunt, and I proved myself valuable when I managed to take down a wild animal on the run. They cheered my success, and we shared in the spoils of hunt. So we got some raw meat and some standing. The hunters stood stoically before me as I considered what to do next. They were clearly eager to keep moving. So I can spend um, some renown to ask about the tribe. Or no, I would I would gain one renown for asking about the tribe. We're at negative two right now. Um, or I could give a gift, get plus three, ask for food, ask about the village. Um, well... Give him a gift. Okay, so this is the threshold we need to meet. Meet. To uh, get their standing. Whiskey usually does it. Yep. So that'll give us plus three. We can get more. No, maybe not. Okay. Deal. Anticipating further contact with these people, I offered a gift. They accepted it gladly. Surprise and worth showing on their faces. Yeah, they're all going to get drunk. Gave them poison. This live hand grenade will make you... Okay. The hunters did not want to tarry further. They disappeared silently into the wilds. Yeah, so you get a choice between all those things. But we're plus one with them now. And they're gone. All right. We want to get a lay of the land here. So we're going to climb this plateau. Use one of our climbing gear. Big views. Alright, got a few places we can check out. I think the plan is we'll go here, here, maybe rest back, and then there. Depending on what these things are. Ooh, there are plants here. Yep. Needle plants. As we approached some strange looking holes in the ground, we're astounded when gigantic carnivorous plants suddenly sprang from within. <gasps> Need no plants! We managed to stay out of their clutches, but we would do well to stay observant and avoid these plants in the future. So how this works is if I decide to go over these tiles again, I'll take damage. So we're going to do one travel to approach this stone statue. Big statue. I discovered a meticulously carved figure. It's cold eyes seeming to stare right at me. It was a disconcerting sight, and I was eager to move on. I noticed a collection of offerings that had been placed by some unknown natives. So I can examine them and take them, which will lose. Um, corn flute. Peculiar instrument that produces pleasing sound, lifts the mood, but draws attention. Um, I don't want that. I could also leave an offering. 
I believe. So we'll leave the meat we got earlier. I did not check out the bet pool. I was going to check that out, but I was setting up condor stuff. I placed my offering at the base of the statue. A wave of peace washed over me, and I knew that my sacrifice had been worth the cost. So plus two standing. All right, so you can see our thing's spinning, so we must be close to something. We want to head back over here, though. Careful of them plants. What is this? Approach a hunt master. Hello there, hunt master. Whoa! I encountered a hunter's cabin out in the trackless wilderness. It seemed that its owner preferred a solitary existence out among the wildlife. Uh, looks like we can't hunt a beast. But we can trade! I don't really want any of this. Animal scent. Temporary mask your scent to sneak past ambush wildlife. Okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Give him the common cold. Wow. After seeing the items she had available for trade, I reconsidered. Okay, well, that's a thing. Alright, let's rest back at our ship. And then we'll check out this guy. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Nah. Hey, rock quail. My uh, doggo caught a birdo. What a good boy. Um, so we can rest here. Fell into a feverish dream. Uh oh. What the? I was alone and forsaken. How did I get here? Where was I? That's cool. Who am I? I woke with a scream. I was shaking and decided to forego sleep this night. Oh, yeah, what? It chastised me for not resting during the night. I did not tell anyone what I experienced. I could tell he was starting to doubt my fitness to lead. Decreased loyalty. I'm actually going to rest for five more days. I could hear some strange noises nearby. The agonized cries sounded like someone or something was in pain. Or could this be a trap? I'm gonna ignore it. I did not dare risk it. The sounds continued for some time, but eventually ceased. The sun's stillness made me uneasy. So I'll get our sanity back up. All right, back to the expedition. All right, let's check this boy out. Day 50, I think, uh, another rock whale, good doggo. I think uh, the faster you do this, the better rewards you get to. I'm not entirely sure. Approach the shrine. Arrived at a long forgotten shrine, the terrain nearby was a dry wasteland, despite the lush landscape of the surrounding region. Enter shrine. Inside was a small empty chamber. A long hallway led to the altar room ahead. It took a breath. I took a breath, keeping an eye out for traps so I can search for secrets. I would need two green dice, or I could use a torch to get a guaranteed roll. Hey, we did it. Doggo is winning. Better loot! Beneath some debris, I discovered a hidden trap door in the floor. Opening it, I saw a second gloomy chamber beneath this one. Entered the hole. I lowered myself into the hole, landing lightly on my feet in the hidden area below. The space below the entry chamber was damp and mossy. I felt earth beneath my feet and could hear water dripping quietly. Several odd mushrooms sprouted on the ground. Gather the mushrooms. Uh, I said to grant ex oh, so view distance 60% and uh this is, this is like a med kit essentially but there's backfire chance i don't know about backfire chances on that picked a few of the more colorful mushrooms recognized their strange properties when i could find no more i climbed back all right we had found a sacred altar room sigils drawn on the altar warned grave robbers to beware of burning sun that would turn the world to desert so I can choose to take this stuff or not. Um, you take it because you can trade with it or sell it for money and, and uh, fame. So we're going to take it. 
for now. Oh my god, we took a treasure and proceeded outside. Everything behind us began to wither and die. A drastic climate shift ravaged this region, and we were responsible. Also, we lost three standing. So this will slowly turn the surrounding area into desert as well. All right, let's check this out. You can see here. Um, and desert's a problem because if you do... Oh, what happened here? I was enveloped by an awe-inspiring sandstorm and completely lost my orientation. It was several days later when I finally got my bearings. Okay, so I lost... Got teleported over here. Yeah, that caught up to us way quicker than I thought it would. That's rough. Um, all right, so let's eat enough chocolate to get to here. Oh, woof. Need to go around these plants. Um, desert's bad because if you don't have water, you lose more sanity from it. So let's head here. Try not to set off these plants. What was that? The doggo finding all these raw quail. Then we're going to travel till okay. till we can't yep i guess we know who to blame that's right <laughs> i do want to check out this village um i do need to eat some chocolate now though because my sanity is rip also i need to promote people and check yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. promotion Um, so yeah, better stuff. Oh, I only get to promote one person. Hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, that's a thing because if I would have promoted my soldier, I would get some of that loyalty back. So just kind of, you got to figure out how, how much you want to do that too. All right. Travel. Through the river. Ooh, it's our first stone thing we needed to find. Uh, approach it. I approach the first of the stone circles according to legends. Straight the stones. Pulling forth a large roll of paper I had brought for this purpose, I carefully copied the etchings of the stones. My map was beginning to take shape. Okay, so we found one of two. All right. Um, maybe I don't want to go to the village. I mean, I'm at zero standing. I'm just not going to. How the heck do I get here? Oh, this is not great. This is not great. We're going to take some damage through these plants. Just because I wanted to explore more. See, everyone took a bit of damage there. Minus five health. More raw quail. Shaman hut. Uh, sure. They might have some sandy things we could trade these mushrooms for. Could ask for healing, which would uh, heal our party up. Cleansing will, um, um, if we do heal. Hallucinogenic toad. <laughs> Click to indulge in a mind bending experience has long term mental side effects. Ooh, moonstone? Very expensive. Earth totem. And it, okay, uh, what was I saying? Um, the uh, cleansing can reduce or uh, remove a negative trait for a character like uh, our whoever had, whoever was sexist. Uh, trait. So you want some quail, my guy? I would like a toad. Please. 
Yeah, you like mushrooms, don't you? Wow, you really like chocolate. There's a there's a deal for ya. Deal. Alright. Lick the toad. <laughs> Put my tongue on the rough surface of this toad and felt a euphoria overtake me as reality began to waver and distort. We are all one. <laughs> I noticed that uh, Ginny Clement's temper seems shorter these days. I'm dying for a fight. Okay. Medic. Oh, hothead. Okay. All right. So red. That will be some danger animals. Keep an eye out on that. Uh, let's. He's itching for a fight. Let's go do that. Looks like there's a trader over here. Butterflies. You're near a butterfly. Collect butterflies for flame. Fame, even. Ooh. Panther. Scary. Approach a shipwreck. Find some stuff here. Came across an astounding discovery the wreck of what it looked like an old merchant ship. Couldn't let it. Ship looked like it might still contain valuable supplies. It's quite dangerous. Lick the butterflies, too, yeah. <laughs> uh, search thoroughly. To search the ship fully, somebody would have to risk investigating every little niche. Uh, send the captain. Okay, so I need two greens for this to be successful. Rip. Failure! It's not something bad's gonna happen to our corporal. We separated to search, but after a few moments, I heard a cry! Running to help, I discovered that Corporal Isaacar had fallen through the floor of the ship's deck. I helped him out again, but his leg had been seriously injured on the fall. Sprained ankle, minus health. And I didn't get anything. It's bummer, man. So what's sprained ankle do? Passy minus one. Okay. Passy minus one. Uh, butterflies? Panther? Panther. Attack, panther! Yeah, so the panther's aggroed to me right now, so it will chase us. Um, and if we let it attack us first, it gets that uh, that initial dice roll. So we want we want to be the first to attack. Oh, plus our huntsman gets an initial attack there. So panther, next a action will do twenty damage. God dang. Okay. Reroll retaliation. Enemy attacks on reroll. Oh, that's good. Hey, Stanley. I mean, sure. So I added another die. Because I'm only going to roll once. So I want to make sure I get stuff going here. Alright, tally ho. Damage and vulnerable. Stun for one. Yo, stun for one's pretty good. Take Alaria. Quick slash gives bleeding. Sick'em boy. And haymaker. Alright, so we will stun for one. And. Yeah, stun for one. After all this other good stuff. Damage five, damage ten, damage five. Um, bleeding is minus 10 per turn. Haymaker. Spow. Tally ho. I should have did that first because it would have increased vulnerability. But now we're going to stun. Which means they won't attack the next turn. Actually, I wonder if I can reroll here. It'd be fine. Looks like it. Okay. Um, heal. Yeah, we'll boost a heal. There you go. 
So yeah, so they were stunned there. Now their next action is gonna be a bloody claw. 15 plus a bleed. Okay. We can only roll once. Oh wow, that was a terrible roll. Uh, kinda wanna roll again, which will be a 20 damage. It looks like. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, reroll, enemy attacks on reroll, okay. Oh, doggo! Now! Bros. Alright. So, stun chance. Okay, we'll boost that. Uh, dog is five. Five. I just need six damage to kill, which I won't get. God dang. <laughs> Alright. Got one HP though. So, uh, Doggo will tank the damage if you attack. And remove poison. Yeah. Oh, doggo protect. Uh, so you lose standing by um, attacking wildlife. But you gain loot. My boy's injured. But he's ready for a promotion. Ba -da -da -da. What did you... What? No! Don't permiss. Dismiss. Oh, he is, he is ouchy. You pig. Oh, is she sexist? Yes, she's sexist. <laughs> okay. Um, get out of here. Time to take on these hyenas. Three of them. God dang. Take that. All right, we'll get a reroll. There we go. All right. Heal our boy. We can attack, which would probably kill. If we boost it. 27. Oh, dang. Let's take the guaranteed kill. Actually, if we bleed for four. Guaranteed kill. Alright, boost this. Stun chance. Not get it. Counterattack our doggo. And then heal our doggo. Because I like doggo. He's a good boy. Counter attack! Got him. Ah! No oh, poison. Rude. Okay, so we can remove the poison. Which seems good. Let's do that. And then heckin' uppercut. Boost this. Make it vulnerable first. Get him! Got it! Pow! That wasn't too great. Doggo on counterattack again. And here we go. And we should be able to finish this one out. So we do want to try to get a heal in here. So we'll reroll for that. Boost it. Who needs it? Our boy here. Okay. 
and then doggo sick him so once again minus standing Oot. am i over encumbered this is weightless okay what are you looking at yeah they are not being friendly i don't think i'm over encumbered but we're almost over encumbered all right butterflies Do I have to like go into the butterflies? Sure do. Deadly butterfly. Yeah. Uh, meat. Swiss chocolate. How lovely. All right. Here's the other stone circle we were looking for. See our things spinning. Complete the map. The map was complete. Uh, triumph. And that's the level. GG's. Hooray! Huzzah! There was much rejoicing. Oh yeah, so you get bonuses for how you complete, or what you complete your run with. So you can see we're getting tickets here. And then treasures. Ranking up with uh, our sponsor. And then uh, a quick overview of what we did. Doggo doesn't get a ride in the <laughs> in the wagon. Yeah, that's sad. Uh, so yeah, so we're we ranked up, so we got a stun prod. Power of lightning on a stick. Come on, answer to a primitive melee weaponry. And then you get to pick a perk. Um, this will last with your main character for as long as they live. Uh, so max sanity up. Trauma care here is part of slightly after combat. That's not bad. Stealth reduces chance of triggering combat. Strong mind's pretty good. I kind of like trauma care though, because we are kind of a fighty team. So do that. Our return to Paris. Street urchin delivered a note uh, telling me to meet our boss. The city was bustling with seven. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so here's the online thing. Um, Victor, go to the fame. Return the most crystals to Paris to win. Pledge yourself to a club for your choice. 15 hours left. Um, this is the, uh, the beta reward, pretty sure. Um, you know, meet our boss. peppered me with questions and tense in her hunger to learn every detail about the expedition eventually victoria revealed that she had been collecting reports and that machine we had found on the first island seemed particularly important need to go but pressed a handful of expo tickets into my hands as she escorted me out of her office these were good as gold in this area particularly in the explorer clubs all right i think i'm at max group though but we could get a sailor a cook who's an alcoholic <laughs> or a street rat it's what are street rats do can steal from locations steal challenge bonus plus one interesting imperialist feels that people from uncivilized cultures are inferior okay we could add one more to okay so we can add one more uh street rat is new to me, so I might just take that. Yep. He's so happy. Join the trek with a lopsided grin. Though his skill set had been honed in an urban environment, I was certain he would do to do. Okay. She's so happy. Alcoholic cooks a normal cook, yeah. So I exited the tavern, I received a note from Lux Labs inviting me to the club. Hey Lux Labs, how we doing? Eddie Bot. Uh, uh, automaton that served as Edison's representative here in Paris flatly welcomed me to the club. I was permitted to return at any time. Purchase Stunt Prod. 
So I need to spend, well, this is tutorial stuff, but I spend my expo tickets to unlock all these things. I was sure I wouldn't regret my purchase. And then, uh, yeah, you can join the online competition. I don't really know about this. So to go, you want to be able to blah, 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 blah. In order to participate, we'll need you to store your account details on the server. No cheating. Uh, sure. I joined. Comp status. Hey, <laughs> we're in first. Good job, everybody. Uh, my contribution has been much. <laughs> um, and then you can upgrade your equipment. So, like, just your base equipment here. You can spend uh, more points. Um, and if you upgrade it, I get another red die with a bleeding chance. The, artil the arterial slash. It's pretty cool. Uh, equip your new item. Still doing tutorial stuff. I don't want it. Uh, street rat can have it. Actually, you should probably have it. Street rat can have it. Because that'll... Oh, it's a green. Okay. Maybe I do want to give it to our, our boy here then. Kind of vary up the, uh, since he's not all red dice, he'll have some green dice, too. All right. Cool. Um, that's the only thing I've unlocked, because we're not leveled up enough. What would upgrading this do? It would add a die debilitating shock. And it's cheap. Do it. Just kidding. That was how many I would have left. <laughs> All right. That's fine. Well, upgraded cattle prod. All right. I'm out of here. What are my special vendors to the club halls? Yeah, so, uh, like, I could go to other ones. And, uh, this one will cure ailments. And they have their own set of stuff you can unlock. Same with the academy here too. So there's there's a lot of uh, leveling and roguelike stuff you can do there. But on to the next one: Golden Pyramid or Trials and Triangulations. Let's do Golden Pyramid. Should be doing the one with more rewards though. But whatever. Yeah, we'll keep upgrading with these boys. There's a set sale next morning, decided to enjoy fine line out. Not help but notice a swarthy sailor standing in the bar, nursing a drink. Uh I like to tell stories. Told me about his travels. With his story finished, the sailor reached into his duffel bag and handed me a small package. It was a little something that should help me on my own adventures. Hey, first aid kit. Um, so I think before each mission, you, yeah, you do the bar thing, and you can do challenges in here too, or get a first aid kit like we just did there, and stuff like that. An alcoholic gardener. <laughs> They can never plant their crops in the straight line. Ship arrived on a bike. <clears throat> um, so there's these potions here, which are a guaranteed dice roll in uh, each color, which can help different situations. Um, let's get some climbing gear. Get two shovels. Torch. And probably sanity for the rest of it. Um, yeah, these reveal nearby areas, but can set forests afire, which is pretty silly. <laughs> hey, Dragon Sage. Uh, weather balloons are kind of cool. They they reveal the closest question mark on your map. But we'll we'll go with this. Deal. Sell a med kit. I want a med kit though. Oh, you can't sell. Okay, never mind. Deserts. This expedition has deserts. Bring extra water from your ship. Easy travel on deserts. Alright. 
Fill water. We got. Might as well do another one just because it's free and we can always get rid of it. Alright. Let's do this. New objective, return crystals to Paris. As I prepared to leave, I was reminded that the Lux Labs was gathering valuable crystals. So that's the online competition component thing. Ancient legends told of a great golden temple on the island that loomed ahead a massive ancient thing and made of pure gold. Oh, it was to find this legendary structure and yeah, bring glory. I don't know how you collect these, but okay, 14 hours left. Compass shows the general direction of your goal. It gets more accurate as you explore more. You can see it's west somewhere. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so here you see the, the water indicator while I'm traveling all over the desert. All right, let's climb this. Let's climb that one. Natives there. Doggo getting some quail. All right, big reveal. Question mark over here. Might as well go check it out. Butterflies down here. Stalk prey. Ah, oh, interesting. That's new to me. Doggo levels up. Dismiss confuses me because, like, I go to promote and then I want to say dismiss to, like, go back. But it's, like, to get rid of that um, character. Uh, approach the stone statue. So this is another offering dealio. Bait. Use a strongly scented bait that attracts enemy aggression. So is a taunt. Yeah, taunt. Um, protective totem. Silver base. Power ring that can be broken to release protective power within. That's a shield. Okay. I'm gonna take some offerings this time. Took what I could. Used from the base of the statue, so standings reduced. Yep, and stalking prey, I think, is a dice roll and a double action here, or double event. I can see the beast on the horizon, it's ears twitching suspiciously. Hunting it would take time and entail risk, but could pay off. Tame the animal. I do not have a good dice chance for that. That's cool. Hunt it. I do have good dice chance for that. Wow, okay. <laughs> Some good RNG. I spent more than a day tramping through the rough terrain, but spooked the beast with my blundering aside as I watched it bolt in the distance. So minus standing and days lost. Great. <laughs> Great. Give me some butterflies to cheer me up. What have we here? Huntmaster. Yo, Huntmaster! I'm terrible at throwing dice. Encountered a hunter's cabin. Hunt beast trade. Oh, steel. That's new to me. <laughs> Do some trading. You want some quail, my dude? Um, what does he even have? Giant snake skin. Oh, boy. Uh, throwing axe. Water. Panther pelt. Meat. Does he... yeah. In the first game, water wasn't good for trading. I just want to see something here. Oh yeah, okay, you can get standing. What does this do? Protective charm. Plus one standing, eh. This game's goofy. Yeah, this game's pretty fun. I really like the first one, which I wasn't going to pick up because I saw this one was being made, but I was like, eh, I'll pick it up and see what it's like, and it's tons of fun. I don't, I don't want to do anything with you. I'm going to steal from you. Uh-oh. Got him.
flashed a grin and, re and revealed what he had taken. I admire your skill. It seemed that the theft had gone unnoticed. So two red berries. All right, <laughs> let's hunt beast. I told the hunt master of a fearsome creature that I wanted to kill. She agreed to deal with it for a price. Oh, okay. Oh, so I could target. Okay, cool. So like if there was an enemy on the map, <laughs> they would take care of it. That's cool. Okay. All right, I'm out of here. Should I trade your berries back? Will you? <laughs> totally could. I'm doing it. Hey, I found these berries lying on the ground over there. <laughs> All right. Uh, next question mark over here. Get out of my way, UI. How do you... There you go. That's ah, still 20. Okay. Or quail. It's quail everywhere. Hey, it's the village. They're not too happy with me, are they? We'll see what's up. Soon realized that they were unused to men and his presence was making them angry. Oh. <laughs> standing minus one, great. Even less standing. He has cautiously offered their help. Yeah, so. <laughs> Steal again. And being very rude explorers, minus three. Bartering! Trade arms for Eagle Gray! What is this? Healing charm. Heal regen, plus 25. Raw meat. Y'all want some quail. Um, how about these charms? You don't really want it. Oh, bolos! Yeah, I don't really want anything. Okay. Give me my quail back. I'll steal from him. Going all in on angering everyone on this island, I guess. I mean, we picked the street rat to steal stuff. Ooh, seashells. Hey, I uh, found these seashells. Okay. They're my seashells. I'm leaving. I'd like to rest, but we're already negative three and at negative five, I think some bad things start happening. Yeah, we're already being followed because they're suspicious. Um, how's our sanity? Pretty bad. Check this out. Okay. <laughs> Gonna piss him off some more. Temple before me warranted both fear and respect. The structure was slightly tilted and subs subsiding. The ground seemed to be... Okay, so chasm is pretty bad. Um, chasm will cut your map apart and can make uh, it much more difficult. But we'll see if we can get the, uh, the secrets. Get a guaranteed green die. I didn't need it. I don't, I don't want to desecrate this shrine because the uh, problems it creates is pretty bad. Plus, we got pretty good stuff here. Uh, so we're just going to leave. So we still got some loot, but... Um, yeah. Alright. What's followed mean again? You feel followed. Okay. Yeah, I think that means if uh, we do something that would negatively impact the tribe, they send out, like, a hunting party after us or something. So we have this whole section of map yet, so I'm, I'm assuming... Ooh, butterflies. I will find... Was this my last climbing gear? I, I'm assuming I will find a resting oasis somewhere. But who knows? This is a sandstorm, I guess. Let's avoid that. Or could teleport us farther in. Ooh, there's another animal. A 
Question marks. Yeah, out of climbing gear means that it's more difficult to climb over these plateaus. Ooh, chocolate. Oh, did the animal run off? What is that? Oh, I saw something on the horizon, but it's gone. Oh yeah, it looks like... Yeah, the animals, uh, if I remember from the alpha or beta or whatever, um, they're at a location for like three days or something and then they'll take off. What, what the heck is this? It's new to me. A sinking shrine. This is not an oasis. I am... Uh, we are in bad situations now. Maybe that's an oasis. That'd be pretty cool if it was. Tarpid Drylands. Discovered a new area. There's a merchant there. What the heck? Approach Monolith? <laughs> this should be fine. Oh, covered in tar. That does something. Uh, tile cost is more sanity. Great, because I am running out of that. Hey, there's a monolith here. Cool. <laughs> My house towered above me, its glossy surface, unlike anything I had seen before. It was so dark the island fog had been captured in solid shape. Touch it. Lay my hand on the surface of the mile with a shock course through my body. Images of the island flashed before my eyes too fast to take in places I had been and places I had not. This doesn't feel right. <laughs> my mind scrambled for purchase in the flood, and slowly I forced myself to focus on image. And say, oh, is it a random teleport? Yo, random teleport. Cool. Lick the monolith. Yeah. Should we go to the trader? If we go to the trader, we might be able to get some sanity back through trading. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. Plus, we got some island reveal. Swamps. That's cool. I'm assuming there's a negative effect um, chance for that, too. My surprise, I encountered a colorfully dressed traveling merchant. <laughs> More stealing trait. Proudly presented me his wares. He's got a donkey. Ooh. What's this? Flash powder. Vulnerability up. Metal nuts. Metal nuts. Provides invigorating burst of energy that enhances your reflexes. Another reroll. Chronometer. Designed to assist in timekeeping and navigation and allows the efficiency planning of your travels. Wow, that seems pretty good. Gun! Shotgun. Wow, you got like a lot of stuff I want. Animal scent. What's this? Grooming kit. Village rest sandy and nature rest sandy plus one. It's equipped, equipable by beasts. Jeez. Um, you want some shells? How about some quail? How about some of this? How about that? About some shovels. About whatever this is. Red kit. Butterfly. God dang. Just seeing what I could get away with. Yeah. Shit's expensive. Grooming kit, maybe. But I want the shotgun! Yeah, he doesn't take water. Fine. I'm choosing to make my party better by getting rid of all my reward stuff, essentially. And he's gone. So, uh, quick doggo. Doggo now has a grooming kit. And our guy with a gun. So we'll switch this out. And who has red? You can have prod. Alright. Click this toad. Found myself in a mysterious realm. Where was I? Was this a dream? What a strange place. My mind raved with questions. Go deeper. Oh. <laughs> yeah. We'll go deeper. Now! Failure! 
Try my best, but I couldn't hold on to the thought. I felt myself slipping. <laughs> He's just like, LOL! <laughs> Well, sir, so you know, perfect still, yet falling faster and faster and faster. Then with a snap, everything came into focus. Wake up. Got some sandy back. All right, let's check this out, I guess. Ah, I should check that out. Dang. We are covered in tar. Oh, okay, so this was the negative effect. The mysterious fog draws closer each day. Be careful not to take too long. I'm taking too long. Shrine limbed ahead, crumbling stairs winding around the ancient tower. Effigies of human forms hung from nearby trees, their mouths sewn shut as if to silence them. I don't know what silence means. Um, if I had climbing gear still, climbing the tower... I was, Well, maybe not. Enter the shrine. Search for secrets. Better loot. It kills the natives, oh dear. I ran my hand over the rough surface of the wall, examined the writing. I started the writing with my mind became strained and focused. I found myself speaking words I had never heard before, chanting their strange song against my will. Oh. I lost consciousness briefly when I came to an inner glow. Uh, suffused my being. Blessing of capacity. Okay, so that gave our doggo a blessing. Yeah! <laughs> Blessed! Grand treasure away inside singing tower, an image of a whole village is vanishing. Okay, without trace. Well, we already saw the village, so yoink. Man, not very good stuff, though. Friday night at the karaoke bar, yeah. <laughs> Silence, yeah. So I'm not followed anymore, though, because they're, they're gone. <laughs> I mean, that's... One way to do it. I am about to go insane. But here, our good boy has plus two capacity. Oh, just for 120 days, dang. It's not permanent. Alright, we need to find this tower. Um, if it's like the first game, it's always surrounded by woods. So we'll see if that's the case. Uh-oh, bad thing's gonna happen. Hey, there it is. Never mind. Um, so it might be always surrounded by the same tile. Because an easy way to find it in the first game was you would look for a hexagon of trees. And you would find it. Approach the pyramid. The pyramid shined with a golden gleam. There was a strange quality to its architecture that I'd never seen before. Stray numbness shot through me as I stepped inside before quickly fading away. What a wonder was it? Was this? <laughs> Success! Hey! Find the Golden Pyramid. Oh yeah, you can view your map afterwards to see your whole trek and stuff. There you go! GG's. Did not return with a lot of treasure. Or provisions. But everyone's alive! Covered in tar. And we unlocked therapy paddles. Provides a gentle shock to elevate the mood and prevent quarrelsome behavior. Oh, good. <laughs> that seems terrifying. Or chest. Adds three combat items to each island. Heavy carrier. Gain additional inventory slots. Uh, mycologist. Free mushrooms given at the start of the expedition. Let's do free mushrooms. They're good for trading, if anything. They returned to Paris. A rather suspicious looking gentleman approached me. He told me that he had excellent bargains on equipment. Oh. Shady dealer unlocked. Equipment of all sorts is available. The. Should just don't ask how we acquired it. Okay. Shady dealer. That's new to me. Alright, we're back at the shop. Do I have enough tickets to buy these? Uh, I'm guessing no. Why can't I select them?
Okay. Never mind then. Um, could upgrade equipment again. I feel like I should be upgrading stuff. Doing it. Sharper knife. One for arteries now. And I don't have enough tickets for anything else. But what's this shady dealer about? It's the items. On sale! Ah, so here's some equipment stuff. Meat cleaver. That'd be good for a cook. <laughs> Rope. Most important item for every self-respecting adventure. Swamp cost minus three. Yeah, it's pretty good. I have two tickets. It costs two tickets. Rubberized waders allows comfortable travel through water and protection from sulfur. Another girdle, max health plus 10. Meat cleaver, shotgun, saddlebags. Let's get the rope. No deal. I don't understand. Okay, never mind then. Looked like I could have spent two tickets, but it wouldn't let me spend two tickets. <laughs> Whatever. Um, select expedition. She told me she made an important discovery. By piecing together coordinates from where islands were appearing, she believed she had found a special iron room and to hold something remarkable. Story expedition available. You have completed the required normal expeditions for this year. The first story expedition has been unlocked. So if you saw on the previous screen, there were little uh, circles down here. You have to complete X amount of missions to then unlock your story mission. And now she's coming with me. Yeah, right here. Uh, yeah, a ruined gate. Three. Select a sponsor. Keep going with Lux Labs. Why not? Right before I was to depart the streets of Paris, was awash with flickering light of street lamps as I made my way to the bar. I entered the bar room. I drew out my knife. <laughs> no, two people standing near a table speaking loudly. Apparently, they had caught the largest fish imaginable. Fish! In myself a drink, I settled to listen in. It went on and on, describing the thing's length, the width, color, and the fight it had put up. They were both so proud of their catch that I had to smile. Okay. Cool world building, I guess. All right, before we buy um, these next things here, I gotta take a quick break. I've been uh, up for three hours now, ever since that condor. So we'll be right back. Thanks for being here, everyone. Hope you're enjoying the Curious Expedition 2. It's released today on Steam out of early access. It's good stuff. But yeah, I'll be right back. That was wrong. I wanted this.
we're back. Start hanging out. Let's get back into the expedition. And buy some equipment. Oh, these are one-time use things. That's why. Okay. That take up an inventory slot. Loyalty plus one, minus ten health. Jeez. What's this? Cow wine. Blackout and travel up to six tiles randomly. <laughs> what? Uh, plus 40 sanity, though. Uh, <laughs> tool used for doing surveys on unexplored land grants insight into the train in any given direction. Yeah, well, I, I'm assuming the backfire chance is um, become an alcoholic. Animal scent. All right. What is this cool body? A native charm that supposedly increases healing speed. I mean, who cares? Can you not? No, you can't sell these items. I thought you could. Maybe that's later on. Sorry, my cords are tangled. Um. All right. Well then, what do we want? I mean, we gotta gotta grab some of that. <laughs> that seems good. And just chocolate and two med kits, I guess. I should get climbing gear. <laughs> that's what I should get. And a med kit, I guess. Do these have price somewhere? Yeah, two. Okay. Might as well. Alright. Running this. Always refill water, just in case. You can always just drop the water if you don't want it. Uh, let's equip this on, um, I don't know, me. Ellen pulled me aside. As we neared the island, she was entrusting the leadership of this expedition to me, but would stand by my side to lend it so now I get like a bonus character just for this mission. Which is nice. Try right piecing together the uh, ancient soul gaze system. Uh, okay. The exact location remained unknown, but a report indicated that islanders knew where to find it. We must contact the natives first. So let's be friendly with them this time. Are they here say? The drylands. Um, so what does this do? Tool used for doing this bar. It grants insight into a terrain in a given direction. Okay. Well, let's travel here first and then we'll maybe use that. These tar pits. Scout post. Ready to promote. Level. What level are you? Level two. Two, two, two. A two, 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 two. Gonna promote myself. Da, 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 da. Okay. Approach the scout post. The natives of the region had set up a small dwelling that they used as a resting place for their best scouts. We greeted each other. Scout direction. Scout strode forward, willing to check a path ahead for a small compensation. Okay. Well. <laughs> I mean... This is not a small compensation. Jesus. <laughs> All my med supplies. How about no? I will look myself. But I know what those are now, I guess. Uh... Ah, oh, cool. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> kind of figured that wasn't the way to go, but... That's cool. I like that. Now it's on cooldown. Um, let's travel here. 
approach these natives. Is that tower disappearing? I wonder if these have like a, uh, a cooldown or a, a time that uh, you have to get there in that time. Hey guys. Oh, he's got a gun. We reacted cautiously, but we were not unfriendly as I was startled to communicate. Malin stood forward. Incredibly, she seemed to speak the language. The speaker for the natives reacted with surprise and delight, smiling widely. Soon the locals were at ease with us and willing to help. Plus two standing. Ask about the gates. The speaker for the natives hesitated, glancing nervously back at his fells, then coming to a decision, he invited us to speak with his chieftain. Okay. We didn't get any more, but we got village locations. Way the heck over there. Okay. Start the trek. Elephant. Oh, springs are um, a rest point where we can regain sanity. So I'd like to get to here first, assuming this isn't a mountain. It doesn't look like one. So we will do that first, and then come back and rest here. It's going to cost us the climbing gear, but... It is sinking. And here you see uh, the orcs. Um, yeah, we'll leave in 11 days. So you have the hunting opportunity. All right, uh, approach the sinking shrine. We loomed ahead, crumbling stairs, winding around ancient tower, volcanic activity, oh dear. We'll go for the bonus stuff. I don't want to deal with volcanoes, though. Didn't need the potion, but we got it. Back in the walls, I noticed one section echoed the hollow resonance. Upon inspection, I found a soul slab door leading to the second chamber. Push it open. Took all my strength, but I managed to get it open. Wiping stuff from bow, I cautiously looked inside a small chamber. Ooh. Raised eyes at the top with a mummified body adorned with ceremonial wrappings. Take the mummy. All right, I do not want to deal with volcanoes, so we're going to leave that be. And now we're going to rest back at this shrine. Looks like this is, or uh, the oasis looks like this is the way through, though. Grave robber, indeed. Approach the springs. I think the springs heal extra too. Our trek stopped at a place of outstanding natural splendor. The water tasted salty with steam gently rising from the surface. Rest. That'd be a good idea to rest here. There was an unnatural quietness to the night as I sat and stared at the fire. That evening, I know as uh, Garand regaling Jani <laughs> with his exploits, famously bragging about his accomplishments. Yo, I stole those berries in the last place, did you see? After what seemed like hours, Clements finally snapped, cutting. Uh, uh, Malakiu off mid-story. Clements shouted at him to quit boasting and shut up. This comment was not well received. I attempted to pour oil on troubled waters, but the two were consumed. What? Pour oil on troubled waters. Is that a common saying? <laughs> uh, the two were consumed with fury and ignored me. The row soon became personal and the insults as caustic as they were loud. After that night, those two would... S uh, what? After the night... Those two would see eye to eye on nothing, causing an end to grief party. So now they hate each other. Okay. Okay then. My medic hates my thief boy. Uh, we're gonna rest again. And he shot at me a mischievous look and challenged me to solve a riddle. Should I accept? I would surely gain her respect, but what if I failed? Uh, ignore your challenge. Stop arguing with our thief. Heckin' medic. All right. All right. Back to full sanity. Alludes to the calming effect. Oil on the agitated surface of water. Which the Roman statesman and scholar Pliny the Elder 
mentioned in his vast encyclopedia. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Thanks, Papa Nick. All right. Um, yeah, let's climb up there. Get a bit of lay of the land. Then I can use our telescope dealio. The theodolite. Theodolite. Do I even want to use it in here? Sure. Reveal. More water. God damn it. <laughs> All right. Travel here. We ultimately need to get to there. Oh, cool. It's like a clock for the cooldown. Hey, it's a mission. So missions are cool because you can store stuff. You can store treasures you have already and free up um, space. Uh, send items to ship. Yeah. So I can send the mummy. And then uh, you can also trade and stay overnight and steal, apparently. Stealing's a new option that I'm not used to seeing. Um, what do you got? What is this? Stimulant capsules. Strength plus 25%. Whiskey. Expensive whiskey. And then discounted stuff. What is this? Smoke satchel. Burn to create thick smoke to hide from enemy eyes. Okay. Um, I don't want any of this. I was just curious. I do want to stay overnight, though. I think you have to pay to stay, though. Yeah. Where if I had a, a, a missionary in my group, this would be free. Quail does not sell for much. Mushrooms, though. I do not have a lot to trade. Yo, he likes this stuff. Whoa, he really likes that stuff. I already have a grooming kit and a... I wonder if I trade this one for this one, if I get the reduced cooldown. We'll science that out. Um, I mean, I guess I could get these for trading. No, oh, my whiskey. How much water do I have? Two? All right, deal. And our evening was uneventful, and we slept. For five days. <laughs> the priest inquired. Uh, okay, so no steel, leal. Oh, it's two. Steel chance. Oh, two whiskey. <laughs> All right. Thanks for that. I'm out of here. Stealing's pretty all right. And yeah, it looks like I get the cooldown. Neat. <laughs> Look, I found more water. Well, that's good to know. All right, what about this hyena? I don't want to use my climbing gear. I do want to fight this hyena, though. Oh, elephant. Butterflies I missed. Oh. Look at all these dice I have to roll. Because we got this extra character over here. Alright. Bleeding. Spread blast. Target. Enemy. Boost plus one. And a heal. Okay, let's do this. Boost it. That shotgun, though. Ha <laughs> ha! And then we will boost this 15. For a bow! And then, um. This is counterattack, right? Yeah. Stun. For one, which would be a free turn. And vulnerable. Let's do our reroll. Let's keep the stun. Reroll the rest. Nah, we'll be alright. 
I'm not worried. Um. What is this? Untargetable. Cool. Overkill. Who did the bodies? Because we can always trade this stuff for standing. Um, trader. Let's go see what this is. Are these tar pits petrified forest? Seems to not want me to go through it. It's very expensive to go through these. So it'll always go your cheapest sanity route, but you can see I'm using climbing gear and water. So sometimes you can uh, force a movement. Which we'll do. A cave. Peered into a mysterious tunnel. From where I stood, I could see nothing but darkness. So if I had a torch, this would be... Yeah, I can see it up there. The guaranteed. We got a lot, we got a lot of green. Yeah, doggo's nose. <laughs> Follow it. Taking care of it in the dark, I managed to find a path without further problems. At the far end of the cave, I found a beautiful grotto with an astonishing variety of mushrooms. Give me some mushrooms. What do these mushrooms do? Vision. Uh, take some water, and we're out. I could attack the elephant for trophy stuff, but yeah, that'll make our people angry. Quite angry. Kind of want to go around this way. Doing it. Hopefully we can cut through here. Okay, good. I really don't want to use... Last climbing gear. I think it's my last climbing gear anyway. Yeah. So I think there's um more exploring after we talk to the the villagers. If I remember. No, maybe not. Oh yeah, there are always going to be other islands. So to the village, the emissary informed me that the chieftain was waiting my visit. I would surely anger him if I did not come. The villagers deserted me with caution and invited me to rest here. Deal! <laughs> uh, train. I got a fro what is this? A vulture, a large scavenger bird known to be sign. Oh, this is a party member? Oh no, it's a hand. Crypt, what? Okay. Elephant tusk. Yeah, I figured it'd be expensive. This is cool, but eh. I want a vulture. <laughs> uh, okay. Sure. Who wants a vulture? You do. Um, oh, it's an, <laughs> it's an attack item. Okay. Our thief now has a vulture. Awesome. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> All right. 
to duck into the gloomy dwelling. The chieftain nodded solemnly. He asked what we wanted, seeming distrustful of our intentions. Ask about the gate. Reassuring him that we meant no harm, I inquired about the great stone gate that we were here to find. As I talked, his face grew dark. The gate was of the Palakau. He told us the builders, he named them the Cursed Ones, the Bringers, the All-Knowing. Their works were not to be trifled with. And yet, if we were to do him a boon, perhaps he would see fit to tell us. Persuade him to talk. Uh, three blue. Heck. Agree to help. We'll do the boon. An enormous hyena. Is that brave enough? Accept the task. I can't decline. Agreed to kill a beast. Chief to nod with respect. And I needed to return with proof. I'll get it done. Is this Snaggle? Oh yeah. Snarf Rattle? Yeah. That was the named hyena from the first game. I'm out of sanity. I want to rest at the village. Rest. Steal. That was close. What did you take? Seashells? That's like not worth it. Um. Unless, unless, where are they? We can get, dang, never mind. Wait, what does this do? I don't need that. I'm trying to get two standing. They were very hospitable, and we watched them sing a joyful song together. Hey, Katamari. <laughs> Alright. Packed up and departed. Let's go get Snarf Rattle. I use my climbing gear, whatever. Come back here. Tax Narf Rattle. Do it. Yeah. Thorn Rebel. Alright, roll. So my party is not rolling well. <laughs> What's this? Cov Doom. Weakness and poison. Cool. Uh, I need to roll again. I don't want to do anything here. Eh. Damage. Self damage. Oof. So I could self damage and then heal. I guess. Um, a bleed. Damage and a bleed. Seven. Let's boost this bleed. Uh, weakness and poison. Taunt. Let's do the damage. Ambush. And then the Call of Doom. <laughs> okay. And then we can do this and then heal, or I could boost the bleed. Let's do this. Very interesting. You know what? Heck that heal. Heck it, I say. Or bleed. <laughs> With an empty side anyway, yeah. Once you level them up, all six sides will uh, be good to go. Ooh, strength boost. Ouchies. Ouchies. Bleeding. 
Why are these dice bleeding? Is that take 10 damage whenever performing an action? Okay, so I could choose to not perform an action. Um, damage 10, damage 3. Well, they're dead, so. If I click these buttons in the correct order. Hey! Trauma care heals. Experience plus one. Loot! Peace would terrorize the locals no longer. I cut off a small trophy to prove my deed. Now I needed to return to the village. Okay. I'm gonna have to drink some whiskey. Chocolate and whiskey after a fight. Seems good. Uh, finish the task. Chief and welcome us back to his hut. Surprise, and could it be dismay were written upon his face? Yet he could not stomach the dishonor of reneging on his bargain. Reluctantly, he told us what he knew. So he revealed that the ancient gate was on another island. The instructions were odd, relying as much on time and angle of approach at location, but we wrote them down faithfully. Gave Melon an excited nod, and she grinned. In return, we had found what we came for. The history! Onwards, the ancient gates. Yeah, so you can view your map after uh, you've completed it. It used to show a route you took. I guess this is just the map at the end, so like I missed butterflies here. There was a hunt there I didn't do. There was a question mark down here. I wonder if they'll add that later, where it actually shows your route. That was part of the first Curious Expedition, which was nice. I left behind this island, set sail for the next. Close by, I could see a supply ship of Lux Labs. Oh yeah, this is a double, uh, double mission. Supply ship skipper handed over a message from Lux Labs. I read as follows: Horning, another explorer followed you to the island. Also looking for the gate. Be on the lookout for tomfoolery and/or shenanigans. <laughs> Isabel Bird, assistant, informs me this is a famous explorer. Advise strong precautions. So now it's a race. Mel and I looked to each other in dismay. It seemed we had competition. Buy equipment. Uh, I need sanity stuff. Can't sell these items. Okay. How much money do I have? 55. Need some climbing gear. Sanity stuff. And I'm out of money. Great. Don't know about this sandy thing, but sure. Deal. I do have whiskey. Nice. Uh, refill water. How much water do I have? I have enough. Okay. Oh, promotions are in order. Doggo. Kind of like this guy. Not going to lie. Um, let's put more our marksman though. Alright. We get an expedition. I don't know where you find crystals. Ooh. Whoa! There's stuff. Let's check out the stuff. Don't know what it is. It's just random monoliths. Okay. A shrine. Early shrine. 
Large building loomed before me, tendrils of the dark purple fog. I don't really want to deal with purple fog, but I will try to get the secrets. Well, we got the required. Didn't get the bonus. Take the treasure. Pearls. Don't want to deal with tendrils. All right, I guess we'll move up through. Should look at the entire map. Once I can control again. Looks like it's just a singular island here. These monoliths are curious. Hopefully I can get through the mountains here. Oh, there's a ferry station. Okay, that means there's several islands. Okay. Hello, trader. What is for barter? Ooh, dynamite. I mean, maybe. Sensor? Um, wow, you like this stuff, huh? I don't know why the water... Probably because their water is a thing. One tooth for one dynamite? will overburden me though, so I need to get rid of more stuff. More dynamite. What is this? Combat bandage. More chocolate. There we go. Deal. Got pearls. You want some pearls? For some balloons? I do like the balloons. Spencer? Heckin' expensive! But, sensor would be good. Yeah. Um. Such bugger. Deal. Deal. Overburden. It's fine. Okay. Because we will use these. So there's a village. Stone circles. And yeah, we got a bunch of water to drop. Bunch of water. How do you drop? Hold to drop. Yeah. Good, good, good. Uh, I don't know if I want to go to the village. I think I'm just going to pass. Sea turtle let out a strange croaking noise as I approached a strange structure. The fairy master laughed hoarsely and asked where I'd like to go. I'd like to steal. That's what I'd like to do. Yeah, we were gonna pay here for with the shells. Oh shit. <laughs> well, that was the first failure. Fairy master gurgled in alarm as she saw Oh, okay. Uh, attempted to steal a few seashells from her supply. Angrily, the salamander demanded that I hand over the thief for punishment. No! Furiously, the salamander demanded I leave immediately! Okay. Is that close? Is that shut to me now? Because that would be bad. <laughs> I'm just curious what um, the outcomes are for the most part. Because I kind of need that continue this unless I unless there's land things so it looks like there's land masses we can cross okay well now we know <laughs> I moonwalked in there 
I drew closer to the incredible sight of small village shaped from living coral and more breathtaking still the inhabitants were bipedal salamander people. But after a moment, I noticed that my hosts were somewhat less charmed. Scowling, they declared that Isabella Bird had warned them that I was a dishonorable thief. So that's my uh, competition here. Uh, angry salamanders. Plead my innocence, declaring that Bird was nothing but a liar and a scoundrel. Eventually, they let me stay. But my red tech. Reputation has been badly tarnished. Minus three. God dang. Um. But you all like. Ooh, you all like shells, huh? Get my standing back anyway. What else can I sell y'all? Fish! Fish! I don't really want any of this stuff. Um, so maybe just the loyalty. Uh, this is the third mission we're doing here, there, flan. Do I have an extra pair of this? Yeah, I remember grabbing that so I could, uh, trade. There's some good standing. Seashell. Conch shell. Blow to call a turtle that can be ridden to any fairy station. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, same explorer woman here. Yeah. Yep. We'll just gift him all this stuff. Okay. Um, now I can meet with the ruler. Time for a single request so I could request recruit, learn about the tribe, or ask for a quest. Don't really want to ask for a quest because remember we're racing. I guess we'll learn. Ask permission to spend an evening interviewing the tribe in order to learn more about these people. Uh, so I got plus one standing for that. But it cost us a day. I learned about the mighty god. Okay. I would also like to rest here. Because sanity is a problem. Quiet moment around the fire villager approaching me with a question. What was more important for our people, honor or kindness? Honor? There's a crab door there. <laughs> Alright, let's move on. Okay, bye. I should have stole first thing. <laughs> Alright, what's going on up here? A snake. Attack a giant snake. Holy heck, giant snake. What? They got 90 HP? Okay. They can stun for two turns and damage for 90. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, flee? 20% chance flee without enemy final hit. God dang. Dynamite! Shoot, I'm like dead here. Hey, at you! This can only end well. Yeah, they hit for 30 with their snake bite. So 30, 30, and 30. It's pretty rough. Not gonna lie. rough all right inspire i need to inspire my fisticuff oh my god i'm going to die <laughs> i 
Yeah, if they don't hit different targets, we're kind of wrecked. All right. So he's going to damage boost him into 27, which is nothing. <laughs> yeah, punch that snake. <laughs> that animation was very silly. Artful dodge, untargetable. I mean, probably. I don't want to self damage. Oh, I can pick who's untargetable. Uh. Dog! I don't know. Probably the weak boy. Plus, he's got strength now. And now Doggo gets a counter attack. And now we die. Alright, stunned for two turns. Great. Well, Doggo didn't like that, though. Bad snake. Ouchie. Uh, ouchie. And. Ouchie. Okay. Good, my medic's stunned. That's great. Roll! <laughs> Call of Doom. <laughs> yeah, Vulture's gonna yell at you. <laughs> Alright, let's get a reroll in. Untargetable seems good. Oh dear. Sure. Hey, girl. <laughs> All right. I feel like untargetables. I should do that on my main person so they don't die. I could give them strength because they are about to attack. But that's 16 damage for my counter. Yeah, I'm just going to... Uh, Untargetable. All right, Doggo is going to counterattack. He's a good boy. Sick him. Uh, six plus nine bleed. Seven damage boost. I want the stun chance. Is what I want. So we'll boost this stun chance. With the sick him. This guy. Hey, got the stun. So no more mesmerize. <laughs> this snake doesn't know. Right side up. <laughs> okay. Um. We can get a shotgun on everybody. That's like not a lot of damage. I'd rather go ham with some damage. Twenty-seven. Sure. The hell with you. Then bleed them. Because they will take an action. Next turn. Oh, they're flipped as well. What does this do? Call of Doom. Ha -ha! <laughs> this game's silly. All right. End turn. Oh, mesmerize skip. They're still attacking. Oh, Dara, no! Rawr, bite back. Alright. Bleeding. Doggo! Doggo is pain. The snake is sick. Rawr. There can strength boost. In. Okay, let's get a shotgun blast. So let's boost our boy here. You can do it! Stand strong! Shotgun blast. Wait, what is this? Target three random enemies. Damage 12. Okay. 
target boost tieback plus one random enemy. Okay, so I don't need to boost that. Is what I'm reading. Okay. Spow! Poison snake is dead. All right. There's a good bit of damage. Come back. And now you're dead. Look at that snake. What a loser. That, that just ended the snake's life. <laughs> we did it. Loot. Snake meat. I'm the best snake fighter in these here lands. We are very injured. <clears throat> Discovered an abandoned campsite of the failed expedition. The bones of some poor soul were arranged as if to warn me away. No, we search. Wow, I need... Dang. This is gonna fail. Hey! Ignoring the prickling at the back of my neck, I decided to spend more time here. After a short time, I found something of value amidst the ruins. Bait. Don't really want that. Am I over encumbered now? No. Now I am. Um, but we are about to drink this whiskey, so might as well. As we turn to leave, Willie leg plunged into the earth and he screamed in pain. He had fallen into a dastardly trap. Dog, oh no! Oh, he's infected. It's seen someone had dug a small camouflage pit and laid with small filth covered spikes. Uh, I found a note inside. Is your ambition worth so much that you would pay the lives of your comrades? Turn back now. A oh, freaking bird. Isabella bird. Crumbled the paper in my fist. Doggo. Ouchie. Yo, dog, you are like about to die. Med kit. Your name's Willie, right? Yes, okay. He was the first egg hit to treat the injuries of Willie. He may he had more color in his cheeks afterwards. Sixty-five health, dang. But more importantly, minus the infected wound. Um, because that can kill them permanently. Alright, uh drink some whiskey. Heck them natives. Um, Isabella Bird is our competition for this race here. Okay, so there's an island up here and an island over here. This island looks like a bunch of heckin' mountains, though, so I'm gonna go this way. Bloodlet Island. What did we discover? A cave. See nothing inside. Enter cave. Successes. Mushrooms. We can use those right away. We don't need water. Okay. These are the heal ones, right? No. Capacity and attack damage. I use both of them? Oh, my capacity's up, so I don't need to. How long does that last? Ten trips. Ten trips. Heck, does that mean? Um, yeah, it's a bit more aggressive in this one. That's for true. Butterflies. Some heckin' vision. God dang. Um, my compass is pointing this way, though, so that's probably where I was supposed to go. But here we are. 
Grab the butterflies. Hope that this is an oasis. <laughs> Otherwise, we're drinking some danger booze. It is! Hooray! Time for a promotion. Oh, you think so? I suppose. Good timing on these springs. Mailed me eyes. I saw his hand trembling as he nervously wiped his lips before speaking. Uh oh. Back in Paris, it seemed that Isabel Bird had offered a hefty sum to betray the expedition as I pulled out my knife. Shame faced, he admitted to accepting the offer. He could not bring himself to truly betray me, but did feel unappreciated. Finally, his demand I he demanded I match the value of my rival's payment, or he'd leave. Wow, three <laughs> blues. Second betrayal! It's fine, we need to clear up space. <laughs> Have some severed heads. Idiot. <laughs> Mutiny! That's right. Mutiny. And who named us click, 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 click? <laughs> uh. Yo, this is like expensive. But if we send him away, I lose like all the dice and all that stuff. What does this do? Health regen? That. Here you go. Deal. Put it on your vulture. I do need to name a goat. Click, click, click. Yes. And that increased my loyalty? Okay. His loyalty to me, not my, uh... I'm not so feeling... If a sacrifice is asked for... I know who's uh, first in line. <laughs> yeah, the water uh, heals you too. I need to rest again. Wait, did I not rest again? What? I must have hit leave. I was catching the terrain in my notebook. I know something odd. It seems I always find tar or swamp areas close to shamans. Oh. I need more sanity. 95 is not a lot. All right. Let's do this. There are danger plants here. I'm hoping this is the fairy. Oh, there's hunting here. I could have did. It's hard to notice that when I'm just looking for question marks. Oh, this is... Okay. Not good. I am so far away from where I need to be. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, chronometrics. Approach the shrine. And before me warranted both fear and respect. Near the shrine, I saw needle plants. Entree. Search for secrets. Didn't find any. Almost ever began my search, I felt a flagstone sink beneath my foot with an ominous clunk. I triggered a trap! Large stones began to fall from the ceiling, crashing down all around me. Dodge them, stones. I play Spelunky. I know how to dodge falling stones. Moved quickly, weaving between the falling stones with skill. Born of panic. I had escaped injury. Woo! On an altar, needle plants. I ain't afraid of any needle plants. I'm leaving this island anyway. Yeah. Take them all. Run away! It's gone. It's pretty fun. Um, we are learning the new encounters and shenanigans involved in Curious Expedition 2, which just released today. I'm having lots of fun. And we're gonna head over here. I'm assuming this was the best route. Crocodile! Leave me alone. Okay, good. 
more hunting I missed. I alpha tested it too. Oh yeah, that's right. I knew that. <laughs> I knew that you did that. Yeah. This was a long trick. This is just another middle island. Where's this scout post? What the heck? Giant sandworm? Uh, what up, scouts? How we doing? I've been having fun today, though, with it. This expedition's not going well, but we'll be fine. Not afraid. I don't know how much scouting would help me, but I do have a lot of stuff to trade. Yo, they love seashells. Deal. Target tile. How about right here? So, what happens now? Are they going there? I don't know how this mechanic works, but okay. I need to get some sanity back. Time to black out and randomly teleport. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Well, it's got some sanity back anyway. Okay, they're scouting on ahead, I guess. Do I get to see what they see? Yo, that's pretty epic. I should have picked a different thing. Natives approached. Happened upon some natives in the wilderness. We greeted it. Yeah, that, that scout was actually pretty worth it. Um, now that we know that how that works. The language barrier made things difficult. We quickly fell into awkward silence. Weird, because they just said good morning. Heal this bird. Well, somehow the awkwardness reached a breaking point, and I began to snicker. My laughter was infectious, and soon both sides were laughing uproariously. <laughs> Just laughing at each other's faces. The counter left me thoughtful, but I had to press on after a short farewell. I got moving once more. Okay. Approach the stone shrine. Alright, take it easy, Chrono. Um, items. Uh, we, we can leave some offerings here. Um. Octrum. Okay, it is for standing. But yeah, we will get rid of all these quails. Almost all of these quails. Alright, deal. Plus two standing. Which is always nice. Um, let's grab these butterflies. Hopefully this question mark will help our sanity. Out. I'll make it to that on time. Uh oh. Uh oh. Bad things are gonna happen. Oh, it's a mission. Insanity event. Uh, it's it. Yes, thank you. Judge forward, doing my best to set an example for the trek, but I was weary, so very weary. I needed to take some more action to improve the party's morale. So, what was the insanity event? Well, never mind. Welcome, missionary. Send items to ship. Uh, probably those. Snarf rattle. I mean, I should trade first. Actually, um, don't barter. Need to stay overnight. Um, whiskey's always expensive here, which is a bummer. Some mushrooms. Oh, 
don't want anything from him. I mean, the whiskey. It's very expensive, though. Gross. I don't like this trade. <laughs> you know that stuff. Eh. <laughs> Dynamite is cheap. Do this, I guess. Actually, get rid of this. There you go. And this will let me sleep overnight. All right. Now we want to steal. Send some items to the ship. Clear up some space. Yoink. Gimme demi yoinks. More whiskey. Would be great. Food cans, that works. So food cans you can only use when your sandy's under 30, I think. Yeah. Um It's probably there, because that's where my compass is pointing, so we're going to head there. Hopefully not deal with the sandworm. We'll see. I think I have to return to the boat after this, too. Not entirely sure. Oh, my God, I'm going to find them both. Or they'll just leave us alone. Nice. Okay. Hey, Wildebeest, this is Curious Expedition 2. Um, if you saw us play Curious Expedition a few months ago, this is the sequel, which just released today. We're having a first go at it here. This is the first story mission of the game. Ah! Birds here! And I have a bird. As we approached the gate, I saw that Isabella Bird's party had beaten us there. Yeah, I spent way too much time on the other island. She seemed to be chipping away at the structure with a chisel before we interrupted. Mel demanded she leave the thing in peace. Bird, blackguard that she is, naturally refused. Seemed we were at an impasse. Yeah, we're gonna fight. You got a medic, hunter, and a sailor. After the trials this rogue had put me through, it was high time she was taught a lesson. Yeah, she was bad mouthing me to the natives. She set a trap for our good boy Doggle. They need to pay. Yeah. Got a gun! I should have thrown some dynamite in there. I'm doing it. Dynamite all the enemies. Oh, I need blue. Okay. Does anyone have blue? You do. You do. There are a few blues. <clears throat> we'll just take what we get here. I don't really like min-maxing the dice. Fire in a hole! <gasps> Fire in a hole! Fire in a hole! Get hecked, all of you. <laughs> I mean, sure. Uh, shotgun blast. With uh, the heal, because I, I don't need to heal anyone. Target this boy. Not bad. Watch this. You should say that before you shoot. <laughs> My dude. Uh, artful dodge, the shock thing, and a damage. Let's do this plus the shock thing. Or 10 plus vulnerable. Um. Oh, 
Okay, sorry. Retaliation damage. So I don't want to attack him, I guess. Attack you. Yo, there's Bird. Go get her. Um, Artful Dodge will give to yourself because you are the weakest. And now for the big hits. Vulnerable, okay. Bleeding, bleeding. Alright, so we'll boost that to 17. Heck up, bird. Heckin' bird. Um, seven. And then we'll get two bleeds going, so take down the guy with the gun. Pop. Get a bleed. Good dogger. Get a bleed. Good dogger. She's giving two buffs. He's a retaliatory attack. I don't know what she did. Oh. Weakness and poison. Oh, it gave him 10 shield. Dang. So I have to beat through this shield before I can do damage. Which shouldn't be a problem. We'll see them. Um, don't care for that heal or the untargetable. What is this? Sure. Yes, this man has a vulture. <laughs> Alright. Um, we'll break down the shield. That's nine to bleeding. Counter attack, dodge. We'll do this to break the shield. It's a lot of damage, though. God dang! Where did all this damage come from? I just want to break the shield and then use the shotgun. Maybe I should just use the shotgun. Because it's bad. Okay, 8 plus 2, sure. Oh, counterattack. <laughs> you just flipper the bird. Alright, um. Now we wreak havoc. Um, do this. And our boy girl over here. And then I need to heal them ailments. There you are. And now we need to heckin' wallop some people. 17 damage. Yeah. Spread it on. Get bird out of here. Yeah. Oh, counterattacks though. Freaking last throws there. Probably did that in a poor order, but whatever. Six and nine. Let's take her out. Good boy. All right, and this is all but over. Just gotta do it. Get a nice heal boost in here. Um, big ol' wallop. Through the shield! Heck in counterattack. The coup de gras! The coward fled before I could get too close. Man, I should get, like, stuff that they drop. I suppose I get the victory. Yeah, the counter at 0 HP kinda sucks. I had two hits there, right? 
But beset by dangers at every turn, we were finally alone with the Pelikau Gate. It loomed before us, carved with figures and sigils unlike I had seen before. Victoria approached it as though entranced, her face alight with awe. She traced the carvings with her fingers, lost in thought. We made camp, staying up into the night, studied the gate by firelight. We noticed that each time she touched the gate, it seemed to push back the fog. Morning dawn, she declared her intention to stay. As I bid her farewell, she barely glanced up from the gate, so intent for study. Fortune and glory. Ancient gate reveals its secrets. Yeah, so here's the map reveal again. Yeah, we probably would have got there first if we didn't faff about up here or piss off the fairy. But yeah, we essentially almost cleared the entire map. There's a few things down here we didn't get. But we did it. We got caught stealing over here. Yeah, I wish they had the, um, the show your route that they did in Curious Expedition 1. I mean, maybe they'll come later. Doggo still doesn't get a ride. Return provisions, return treasures. Oh, that mummy, though. Liked all that stuff. New unlocks. Engineer. Technology item power level plus one. Thing. That's a character I can add. War chest. Free items for each island. Impetus reduces the base sanity cost for traveling. Uh, that seems good. And mycologist. You can level up mycologist. Let's do this one. Video games. And that was the first year. So then the next year you get, you have to complete a bunch more uh, just randomly generated quests before um, the story quest again. You can now play expeditions in the Sail Mounder ruled archipelago biome. Hunter Turner Paris has eyes of visuals uh, and uh, Eiffel Tower is being built. Meantime, I would continue my own explorations. Who know the Marvel's discovery? Yes, yeah, so. I do my own stuff. What up, shady dealer? Hammer goggles. Allows clear vision to pass most easily through swirling fog. Hunting rifle, hunting knife. Well, these are level two things. Storm lantern provides light even in the darkest times. Search challenge bonus plus two. So that's kind of like having a torch. Um, this seemed really good. I would be left with four tickets if I got that. Can I even, uh... Yeah, you have an open slot. Let's grab that. Um, this is just for... I think I'd rather have this. But that's a hand item. Log travel costs. Yeah, I don't want any of this. What up, Eddie Bot? <laughs> Not really competing in that. Um, club shop. So I could recruit a level two engineer now. Which don't care. Um, so let's upgrade our equipment. I can upgrade the bird. <laughs> uh, yes, please. Bird upgraded. <laughs> Feels good. Upgrade the shotgun. Alright. Level two. Alright, good. Uh, you give it special treats? I don't know. <laughs> That's a good question. 
They're the scientists, so I just provided a vulture. Alright, so now I can pick my thing again. Sealed pyramid, golden pyramid, guardian, and the treasure. Hey, Twitch KC. Heard it's something called the Cobb Doom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It would randomly poison um, an enemy. All the map you copied from Stone Circles on previous expedition to find a legendary treasure. I mean, yeah. Lux Lab's going. Made my way to the bar. <laughs> Brought my <laughs> my vulture into the bar. That evening I was started to find the great Chinese folk hero Wong Fei Hong. Spending the time and eating. Okay. What up, my guy? He had heard of the islands and was interested in joining my expedition to experience this wonder of the world. Would I agree to join forces? Yeah, sure. Physician and a Hunga expert. Increased heal speed. Negotiates too honestly. <laughs> okay. And uh, does not take up. Yeah. Yo, let's go. More the merrier. He's doing squats. <laughs> Give a short ball, smiling quietly. He appeared ready for anything. I suppose we need to go. Cool. I like bonus characters. They help. What time is it? I have a condor race coming up. Speaking of vultures. Okay, we got we got time. As I neared the site of the expedition, a small supply ship. Yeah, that's right. Buy equipment. Um. Marbles are nice for trading. I would like some climbing gear. Dang. I would rather have sanity stuff than uh, trade stuff. I got four. Anything costs four. Nothing costs four. <laughs> the marbles trade really well. Yeah, that's kind of why I'd, I kind of want to get those. I just do this instead. Yeah, we'll do that. Mushroom. What kind of mushroom did I get? Making it possible to overcome one's mental afflictions. Okay, that could be good. See ya. Jungle Island, retrieve the lost treasure. Did not get the option for water, which I think is weird because um, there's a chance I might create deserts, but I don't know. I have to delete a, <laughs> defeat a fearsome beast in a cave. Delete it. That's right. So I could use this mushroom. I need to level some people up. Level up doggo. Mine's quail or the hunting challenge. We'll level up our our thief. Even though he betrayed us. Mutiny. And who named us click 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 click? Yeah, heck that. I'm not rewarding you. <laughs> Alright. Alright, let's take a look at this map. So you can zoom out all the way, but now I can't. Um, maybe this is. Maybe you have to figure stuff out first. Alright, uh, I guess let's climb this, see what's going on. There's bugs over here. I see bugs. I kind of want to use this, but. I could use it for trading too, so. Holy bugs. Any bugs. Uh, let's go here. I think these are if you stay in the in the tile, they do damage or something. Or insanity's increased. Mosquitoes. They carry disease, okay. Approach the cave. Dang, I should have got that uh um lantern, right?
In the mysterious cave from which you stood, you could see nothing but darkness. Enter cave. I'm not gonna use my torch yet. Should've used my torch. <laughs> All right. Opening of the cave split into multiple tunnels and I lost my way in the dark. Just when I thought I would be lost forever, I found path leading inwards. So we just lost some days. That's not bad. You can like break or lose party members doing that. Hey, take water. Nice. And take mushrooms. What are these ones? Euphoric mushrooms. Smells strikingly sweet. While under its sway, all of one's problems seem to be gone. Plus one loyalty to old characters. Eh. I mean, if they start mutinying, <laughs> should be good. Take another thing of water. All right. Um, I guess I got to go through these mosquitoes. Let's try not to get attacked by the hyena. I will do the attacking. I am the attacker. Someone could turn into an abomination. Uh, that's pretty brutal. <laughs> uh, come on. Rip. All right. Um, vulnerable. So we'll just boost that into something else. Boost the bleed. Boost the bleed. Was what an insanity event? The abomination or getting lost in the cave? Uh, damage and vulnerable, and dodgeable. I'd rather damage. How much damage? Are you? Five. I'm gonna take some hits here. Kill one of them. The bleed won't kill either of these two. I should kill one. So I put my bleeds poorly. Owie. Owie! And after the vulture guy. Yeah, I, I remember the Necronomicon doing it. <laughs> that was a fun event. Ugh, not great. Shadowless kick. Aha! <laughs> Alright. Um, taunt. And vulnerable and damage. Sure, let's do this. Okay, we'll get a good heal going. Mosquitoes, I guess. No diseases, please. <laughs> okay. Our medic got malaria. Symptoms include fever, fatigue, vomiting, and headaches. Travel cost plus 25. Plus 25, dang. That's pretty rough. Man, I'm already at bad sanity. Um. Don't want to use climbing gear. So we cut through the jungle. Whoa. 
the heck is that? A beast shaman. Oh boy. Okay, Oasis. That's good. And my cure on malaria too. Jeez, there's more. Mosquitoes. Trader. Um, yeah, you would have to fight the abomination. You can't just like kick him out of the party, I think. If I remember right. I don't know. They were resting. After setting up camp, I couldn't help but notice that uh, Wong Hen offered much help at all. Yeah, only one shadow kick. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, he uh -oh. uh -oh. had scurvy. Anyone got some, some fruit? Need some lemons? Some limes? Okay, got rid of the malaria. I'm gonna rest again. Because sanity's low. Your drums. Oh dear. What could it mean? That someone's playing drums. Alright. We back. Scurvy. Symptoms include weakness, sore limbs, and bloody gums. Infection chance is increased. Okay. Let's check this out. Could you stop using all your climbing gear? God dang. Approach the statue. Um, let's take a look. What are these? Tanning kit. Cool. Increase the value of pelts. That's interesting. And these things. Burst of energy. Um, these mushrooms. And the marbles. Hell yeah. I know I have pelts, but I don't want to take from it. Just seeing what I can get away with here. Okay. Well, there you go. Five standing. Plus two, because I left an offering there. All right, what's up here? Swamplands. And a mission. And our boy's slowly dying of scurvy. Yep, plus seven. Ring of trees hiding that. Question over there. I don't think I want to send anything to the ship. Yeah, rob a shrine and be all right. Yep, that's generally the idea. Can I even stay overnight with you? Yeah, heck that. Not doing that. I must steal. Three shovels. Dicks cans. Oh, yeah. Alright. I need to pay more attention to these tags. Oops. Oh, I only had one can. I thought I had three. I don't know why. Yo, I found these shovels lying around. <laughs> I mean, yeah. That's more than the cans will give me. What was this? Sentimental photo. 
Travel start costs, negative 22. Some more tanning things. I actually would like to... Wow, they're expensive. <laughs> I was like, I would like to try one. Just to see what it's like. Check this out. It's guarded by a ring of trees. Alright, we're out of here. Oh, this is an evening thing. I need a leather. Okay, interesting. So much to see. Dilapidated shack. A desperate looking man peered out at me, his pale, emaciated form sparking pity. The man entered, uh, entreated me pitifully. He had thought to find riches in the land, but now was trapped and desperate. Any help I could give? Uh, sure. Have some of my sanity. Oh, okay, I see. Some of that. Some whiskey. How about a whiskey? How about. This mushroom. A whiskey. Fine. Man, hug me warmly. Tears in his eyes despite the sacrifice I felt glad to have helped. Oh, yeah. That was portrayed. Um, That was for a san uh, sanity payment. I didn't realize what I was doing. It's fine. I'm leaving. We helped the guy. We feel good about ourselves now. Hello, natives. Hey, Mini Pat, by the way. The natives here first caught sight of us. They seemed terribly shaken. After a moment, they began to bow to us. <laughs> Proclaim yourself a god. Nah, I'm good. Embarrassed by the attention, I tried to downplay their awe and behave as normally as possible. They seemed surprised by my mundane reaction. Initial impressions fell aside. We learned to communicate better. I tried to decide what to do next. Um... Ask about the village. Tell me the near settlement, give me detailed directions, and updated my map. <sighs> Way the heck down there. Okay. Good to know, I guess. You're fine. Approach old camp. Search camp. Green and blue. I don't know what malaria is doing. Oh, no. The, my malaria healed at the, the spring we stayed at. Um, he's got scurvy. Need to find him some fruit. Some vitamin C. Best loot. Stop tracking began. Thorough search of the camp, though it took most of the day. I found hidden valuables. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Therapy paddles. <laughs> Release stimulant adds an extra bit of pep to your attacks in combat. Interesting. All right. Well, my compass is telling me I'm like not going the right direction. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, dang. Boy, got malaria. These damn blood talkers. These damn blood talkers. So 
promoted. Do I not have any medkits? Well, that was a mistake. How do I leave? There we go. This might not end so well. Entree. Search for secrets. Didn't get the bonus. Got the required, though. Take the artifact. Over encumbered. Yeah, these quail. My water. Actually, heck, these things. Mountains. Mountains would be a problem. Gonna look though. <laughs> Thirty. Okay. So you can see what that does. I need to go to the southwest. I'm running out of sanity. Gotta get to this mission. Which I have no real payment for him. That's cool. Insanity event! There was an elephant and I slapped it in the jaw. Constant strain of our minds had resulted in neglect of personal hygiene. That day I saw uh, wincing and I. Oh, gangrene. Or, uh, trench foot. Limb was oozing pus. Jungle rot. Gross. Jungle rot. Um, send items to ship. Hang on a sec. Do I still have to pay to stay overnight? Yeah, it sucks. God dang. Hey. Gave us some fish stew. Feels good. No, I, I don't have a missionary. None of these are missionaries. But yeah, otherwise this would be free, which would be nice. Can I just like send again? Okay. Let's go ahead and just eat this mushroom. So this should get rid of one of these things. Hate. Get rid of his hot head. It was shaken by the foul test. He fell into some sort of trance for several hours afterwards. Okay, so he's no longer an imperialist. <laughs> That's good. Alright, so it's down here somewhere. I suppose we should uh, try to make it to this oasis again, so we'll deal with this Beastmaster. I'm trying to get the initial attack here. Yeah. Infected death event? What? Archer's trek had exhausted Gerard Malsitz and succumbed to his wounds. Oh. He died. <laughs> well, glad I fed him that mushroom. Does that mean my bird's gone? Okay, bird's still here. Don't worry. Good day. Would you like a bird, sir? I know it's absurd, sir, but there you go. 
This bee sham is gonna wreck us. Beast shaman. Um, I would like to shotgun blast. Kerspage. To hell with you. Uh, I have a vulnerable counterattack. Yeah, I, I would have been sad if I didn't get the vulture. 17. Man. Uh, reroll. What is this? Call of Doom? <laughs> oh, dude, just because it's funny. <laughs> You will die next turn. Leading ten. We're gonna take some hits here, everybody. should have killed one, but whatever. Uh, now we're done. Owie. 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 Alright, so if he does something, he will bleed, which we don't really want. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't want the counterattacks. I suppose I could remove his bleed. He can do stuff. Yo, Shallow's kick. Your space. Call of Doom. And then we want to kill this hyena. Twenty nine. That's like so close. Can I get there with something else? Got the stun. Oh, that didn't kill you. There you go. Poison got you. Killed him now. Who are you talking to? did that first for the weakness. We did it. Ooh, 
Frog. Frog, very important. Now the rest. <sighs> that night I stayed up late, unable to fall asleep. As I sat by the fire, I noticed Isaac tossing and turning asleep, seemingly having a restless night. He began to whisper strange things in slumber, his voice barely audible as he rasped about an uncanny litany of words. Drawing closer, I was able to make out a few phrases or language that did not sound human before he fell silent at my approach, though he said no more in that night. He's paranoid now. Great. Great. More rests. Okay. Two played for several hours. The night was late. When I finally told them to get some sleep, they would need to rest the journey. They complied, but I could hear the giggling together like school children as they prepared their bedrolls. All their friends now. Ain't that nice. Friendship. Alright. There are danger plants here. Uh, the day began with sunny weather, but soon opened to some torrent of rain. Just as I be just as it began, I happened upon a few natives hurriedly putting together a small shelter. Making themselves understood with gestures, they seemed to be asking for help. I couldn't blame them. Almost unclothed, they were already soaked. Helped build a shelter. That day, I showed a deft hand at wilderness craft, helping them set up a shelter in a jiffy, before joining them inside to wait out the rain. So we got plus one standing there. Um, I feel like I have to go down here. But like, I don't want to go through the mosquitoes. I'm going to go this way first. A trader down there is a thing here. Let's check out this thing. Meteor crater. Oh boy. I mean, shirt. Came across a sounding sight, the crater of a fallen meteorite. The broken chunks of rock were still smoking, and the ground freshly furrowed from the impact. I felt that something of value could be found here, but the search would be not without its dangers. Ins Jeez. To inspect the impact closer, it would have to climb down into the crater. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. You know, let's send our temporary boy down there. <laughs> climb down myself. He'll be fine. Hey, Mr. Leisure. We're having an alright day. Playing some fun, uh... Serious Expedition 2. Got some meteorite. Alright. Yeah, so we need to get down to here. Looks like I have to go through a bit of mosquito, which is annoying. I'm sure it will get me. Yeah, I think it's like guaranteed. Yeah, our guy got malaria, but this is where we need to be. Um, I think it's this some sanity, doesn't it? Oh, I see what's happening. Okay. 
one sanity. Great. Is it enough? No. I guess we'll lick the toad. Oh, I had the meat too. Put my tongue to the rough surface of the toad and fell into euphoria overtake me as reality began to waver and distort. Cope with the stress of the journey, Wong Fang had taken a drink. Of what? Okay, he's alcoholic now. I don't have any alcohol. <laughs> oh. I didn't go into this earlier. Send gameplay stats. Yeah, I suppose I agreed to that earlier. Instant text. Fast rest. Yeah, fast rest. Full screen. Um, take me to the cave. Approach monster lair. We're in for a fight. Yeah, I don't have a cook. Yeah, I really liked the first one. It was a lot of fun, so I'm curious to see what changes are in this one. It's It seems mostly like it's, you know, same formula, just expanded on like any other sequel. Uh, approach Mouth Cave with some trepidation. Not sure what to expect. Bones littered the area, and a foul beast scent filled my nostrils. Treasure of legend awaited inside, but first I would have to get past the guardian or convince the locals to help. Uh, light a torch. Stealing my nerves, I lit a torch and crept inside the lair of the beast. The scent grew stronger as I proceeded into the bowels of the cave, and it wasn't long before I saw the outline of the great beast. Yeah. In the dim light, I saw a glint of treasure behind the creature. It seemed the legends were true. Ooh, steel. Yeah, I want to fight him, though. I'll fight. You know what's going to happen is I'm going to I'm going to fight, and then there's going to be two more. <laughs> okay, it's just one. I'm twenty. It's not so bad. It's dishing out poison and 20 damage. Alright. Okay, don't need the heal. Don't need this heal. Actually, that's like all you can do with that. So it'll just be a bonus red for something else. Um, so let's re-roll that. Okay. Tiger Crane paired Form Fist. Ooh, stun one. That's pretty good. Doing like a stun. <laughs> Animation. All right. Uh, point blank. Good bit of damage. Spow! Stunned him and shot him point blank. Fisticuffs. Let's put a bleed on. Well, 12, 15. That's better, I guess. I should have made him vulnerable first. Eh, whatever. I get two dog counterattacks. One. Two. All right. Excellent. <laughs> the doggo thought. <laughs> All right. So they were stunned for one of their attacks. Or the second attack, it looked like. I'll go is growl. Call of Doom! Um, healing arts. Sickum enemy. Seven and bleeding. Bam! Okay, thanks, Twitch KC. For them doggo bits. We got it. Giant centipede leg acquired. 
And we retrieved the treasure. The guardian was slain and the treasure was mine for the taking. Could not wait to see it in the right place at the Museum of Lux Labs. Back home. Onward. Some missions I'm always a bit nervous about because after you complete... I don't know if it's changed with uh, the final release. I haven't read the um, patch notes or anything. But um, sometimes after you accomplish your mission, they require you to go back to the boat, which can cost like heck ton a lot of time. Sanity and stuff. I mean, we explored most of it. I went way up here when I didn't need to, which is kind of a bummer. I started paying attention to my compass like once I got here and then I moved up because there was a question mark and I was like, well, compass is like pointing way down here. We had our first casualty, the thief from Flea Bottom. Doggo still doesn't get to come along. Ah yes, the toad. Many treasures. We're had on that mission though. Hunting cunning, reroll some dice in combat. What does some dice mean? <laughs> Brought you back a toad. Maybe it's the experience of licking the toad that I was giving them. Reduce movement costs in shallow waters and swamps. Trauma care. Level up. Let's do uh reduce movement. Yeah, just one reroll. Of like one die. If it was reroll everything again, that'd be pretty good. She had been seen. Left instructions with a few local citizens, rumors away, but in the meantime, I gotta do other stuff. Oh yeah, Wong left. Gradually, I congratulated me on a job. Well done. You gave my bird back, right? He took my bird? <laughs> what? <laughs> that thief took my bird. <laughs> Well, that was all a clever ruse to steal, to murder my thief and take my bird. <laughs> all right, great. Uh, what's happening here? Back. Oh, machete. Uh, that reduces jungle movement cost, which is nice. What does this do? Oh yeah, it gives me the, uh... Oh no, it does nothing. I thought it gave me the, um... Early attack boost. <laughs> I like the thief, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the bits there, mini pet. Cry bits are appropriate. Hunting rifle, shotgun. <sighs> I wouldn't mind the machete. It's level one. Oh, it's level two. Can I, like, trade these? Deal. That would leave me with two, I think. Maybe I don't want to do that because these dice are better. I don't know. This guy seems shady. I don't like him. Uh, club shop. I didn't get anything leveled here, right? A level three engineer. A ton by Kung Fu Panda. Man, I want to look at his stuff. Acrophobia. Technology and I. I mean, I do need another recruit. Can I recruit someone in uh, the bar, though? But this one would already be leveled. And I would have a weapon for him right away. Scared of heights though. Strength boost and then damages. I don't like them. Get them out of here. Upgrade equipment. This thing kind of sucks. Not gonna lie. Cause like I get hurt with it. I like sell it back. This gun though. Uh, this is level one. Could use an upgrade. 
Ba -da -da -da. I should be unlocking other the early ranks of the other um uh donators. What are these called? Peoples. Because their early first items are usually pretty okay. Level up the knife. It's sharper now. Does more damage. The next upgrade, we get another red dice. Alright. Rainbow Orchid. Lost Explorer. I think the Lost Explorer is one that you need to get back to your ship on. Rainbow Orchid. Rare and fragile rainbow orchid has been discovered at last. Retrieve a specimen for our studies. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Drylands. Archipelago. Or the jungle. Let's do trials and triangulations. We do a different sponsor this time, I guess. This bird lady. You're currently pledged to Lux for the club competition. Working for another club will not increase your progress. Are you sure? I haven't been making progress in it anyway. Uh, go to the bar. Someone hesitantly I would, it would be adventure approached me that evening. He had heard of my exploits and was interested in joining. Well, good, because I am short a person. Seemed able enough, but did I truly need anyone else in my party? Sure did. Level 3 sailor. Who's, um... Mercurial tends to swing between okay. Uh free naval flare. Free naval flare is not that great. But come and get it. Okay, so it's a self taunt and retaliation damage. So he's like your tank, I guess. Sure. Yeah, free person's not terrible. What time is it here? Three? Yeah. Um. Alright. I think the plan here is we're gonna end the stream now so I can eat some lunch and get some stuff done. Um. Because I'll be back in a few moments, in a few hours, hour and a half, to um, race some Condor. Which is Crypt of the Necker Dancer online racing. Lunch lull. I know, right? Yeah, about an hour. A little less than an hour and a half. We'll be live again with the race first JPED. Uh, Salo will be commentating that. And then uh, we might do some Stardew after that, depending how we're feeling. Yeah, thanks for hanging out, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the Curious Expedition 2. It's pretty neat. We might continue playing it. I mean, yeah, we'll continue playing it. Um, I guess I have to abandon this expedition. We lost forever. Expedition failed. You left everyone behind. <laughs> what? Uh. Oh. Oh, I just... Oh. Well, I thought I was exiting the game. Turns out I hit the wrong button. <laughs> so that explorer's dead. All right, well, now we know. <laughs> Good. Good. <laughs> All right, I'm going to find a right target for you. And then, like I said, I'll be back in an hour and a half or so. I think, yeah, Tornus is playing. Curious Expedition, yeah, yeah. Curious Expedition 2. Check out Tornus. They're good people as well. I could spell raid correctly. <laughs>